All right, so wild card today. Kind of coming out of left field here. This is Jurassic Park for the Super Nintendo. I played this game as a kid. It was pretty spooky stuff. Um, I'm, I was never particularly scared of dinosaurs. Didn't really care about them at all. Wasn't a dinosaur kind of kid. But this game is pretty spooky. And it's not just because of the dinosaurs. It's spooky because it's really rough on orienteering. And that has always been a downside of mine. Oh, we just jump into it. Oh yeah, after this we'll be doing the um, the vote on the next long play. I don't expect to beat this game here. I just want to play around with it for a while. Welcome get reacquainted with it. Park. Look at that, it, it had voice acting in it for a SNES game. Only that tiny bit of voice acting. I think it's all we'll ever hear out of it though. Dinosaurs are very rarely scary. Damn right. We're still sticking to the idea that they're big, ferocious fiends, right? And ignoring the fact that they were just giant chickens. Or so I've heard. Like I said, I'm not big into my dinosaurs. So in this game... Oh, right, I don't know much about Jurassic Park itself. I'm sure I saw the movie, but I also wouldn't have cared much about it because I hate dinosaurs. I guess we're playing as Mr. Grant here. Grant feels like a Jurassic Park name. You walk around, you jump around, and your gun does all sorts of things. To begin with, all it does is put out this stun ray, which will make little dinosaurs explode and big dinosaurs pass out. Passed out dinosaurs will get back up again. That's kind of a spooky thing. We need to go and find ourselves... Uh, oh, ooh, right. Yeah, there they go. They're calling us Mr. Grant. Do not shoot the galleons. But I must. Yeah, they go on a stampede, but that's all right. Just ignore them altogether. So what's going on in this game? I actually don't know. I think the manual explained it. But as was common back in the day, we would just get our games out of the bargain bin from... Uh, which did the best bargain bin? Virgin Media or Virgin Megastores. They did the bargain bin. So I don't really know what we're doing here. The best I can understand it is that... Chaos has erupted on the Jurassic Park, and in order to prevent the chaos, we need to f locate a number of dragon eggs. I think there are six scattered around. If you find those and fix the various problems in the park, then that wins the game. But I've never beaten this game, and in a rare, rare case of unity between me and my brothers, none of us beat the game. Generally, every single game that we as a family owned would be beaten by somebody in the family. I'm getting my ass kicked by whatever that thing is. Oh, Grant's a dead man now. Generally, someone in the family would manage to beat every game we have, one way or another. But this game eluded us all. I think that's a tranquilizer dart, so they're just causing these wee things to explode. Oh, okay. I can do that thing to do more than just exploding. There we go. We mean we mean business here. We'll just get the straight up rockets. I think going south is a bad idea. Down here is the danger zone. Grab some health to keep us alive and roast the little guys. Awkwardly, you press select to switch between your two weapons. So I got stun gun and rockets here. Select is not the ideal button for it, especially not on a dual shot controller, but we'll make do with what we have. Oh yeah, the, the the land is rather large, or at least I remember it being quite large, especially when you don't have a map. And six dragon eggs, and of course you can't access all the map, you have to do certain things to make things work, like uh, there's a bridge that won't work, I believe. Dunno, I'm kinda scraping the depth of childhood memory on this game. Yeah, not even DDR Mum managed to beat it, no. DDR Mum isn't particularly good at games, but she still plays quite a bit. And there we go, there's one of the eggs we need. Maybe if we pick that up, we'll get some sweet lore. Mother is more into the likes of uh, Zelda, Fable, those kinds of adventure games. Ooh, okay, let's try and not get ourselves killed there. Right, oh, okay, when I said six eggs, obviously I meant 18 eggs. 
Oh dear. At least the music's pretty good. I had a two Jurassic Park game in the Mega Drive that was pretty cool, actually. A two. Yeah, no, I'm feeling the Donkey Kong Country in that tune. Oh, this gun is ineffective against the big guys. We have limited lives. We currently have three because we've already lost one of them to those uh, wee dumpy things. Oh, there we go. Got ourselves another one already. Swell. So yeah, you can just imagine the nightmare I have with a game like this. Big map, no ma uh, well, yeah, big area, no map, and you gotta find all these wee eggs hanging around. Did not work well with me. If I recall well, the water is deadly and you will die if you jump in that. Leaving behind just your hat, if I recall well. Okay, well that was a fun jaunt outside, let's switch it up by going indoors. This I always thought was really cool. Actual first person segment to a SNES game. They didn't tend to do that. Let's bring you down here. You, you get out of here as well. I think the bullets kill, but there are other things which simply cause them to be stunned. Thinking about it, Ocean did this. Ocean also did the Super Nintendo port of Doom, so it stands to reason that they had the technology to do this. Excellent. Got myself some night vision goggles battery. Jake, don't know about the SNES version, but PC1 you could interact with those grey pole things to access maps. Did this come out in the PC? Well, that would be one of the many things cut for the Super Nintendo version. Cutting is what is done when it comes to SNES. Oh, oh, you can interact with these things. How do you work again? Wow. I'd forgotten all about this. BIOS load message error main system down. Turn on generator before trying to reboot. Ah, oh, well, the buttons won't do anything in this case, we'll just have to get out. Oh, we didn't have the internet back then, so it's not like people could go and complain to each other about missing features in ports. You'd be none the wiser. I wonder if this came before or after... Doom's port to the Super Nintendo. Certainly nothing changed in the frame rate. Right. That was the generator power they wanted for that machine, right? System cannot boot from the... Okay. <laughs> Glad we did all that for you then, system. Apparently the composer was Jonathan John Dunn. Seems like he did not do any other game that I know of. Adam's Family and the Flintstones. Um, Flintstones games tended to be incredibly bad. I think I played one. Night vision goggles required. Well, I powered up my night vision goggles, right? Yes, yes I did. If you don't, you just straight up die when you come in here. So we don't want to do that. I do not want gas grenade launcher. I'd rather I'd rather have bull ass snares. Cause at least those kill straight up. Boot keeps coming on back. There are some beasties out there somewhere. What was the point in this night vision goggle area? Did I miss a turn? They just took me back into where I wanted to go in the first place. And I 
I certainly do not want gas grenades. Tarkin says, man, this takes me back. It certainly takes me back. To a spooky place. That certainly doesn't look like much today, but back in the day, holy moly. The restricted field of view and the incredibly restricted movement hurt a lot. Get out of here. There's no strafing either. L and R just changes the direction you're looking at. Fine tuning it. Ah, the elevator. Complete with elevator music, if I remember well. Yes. Button B or right, but hold on, are you telling me this game would work with the Nintendo Super Mouse thing? I had that, I had the mouse for the- Whoa now! <laughs> uh, that was a Resident Evil 3 moment. Yeah, I had the mouse um, for one game and one game only, Mario Paint. I enjoyed that a lot. I didn't really have much access to a PC, so it was as close as I could get. It was like having a PC that only had paint on it. Well, paint and um, that insect smacking game, which was pretty good. Pretty hard as well. Because back then, all mice were just um, ball, ball mice? I forget what the, the name of it is. Not trackball, but... You know, the balls you had to take out and clean every now and then. Some people still swear by those mice, but those people are crazy. Right, we need Ian Malcolm's ID card to proceed beyond this point. Atmosphere coming out of every pore, says Tarkin, but I think that's nostalgia talking. be aware of your own nostalgia. Oh dear, oh dear. You get down. I gotta be fast. I've only stunned him. He will get back up. Okay, well, thank god for this room. Had everything I could want. The snare weapon, the most powerful weapon in the game, of course. And, uh... You stay down. healing and more rockets. I think this is the ideal setup that you want. Rockets and, uh, and snares. I think they both kill everything in one hit. Well, I came down here and all I found were supply- Ah, oh, right, no, what I found here was come back here with Ian Malcolm's ID card. So this game came out in, what, 1993? I didn't have the brain development at that age to consider taking down all the information I need to proceed in this game. Maybe if I did, I would have beaten it. The ball mice were interesting in scoop. Well, the balls in them were really solid, so what you do is you'd spin the bottom, take the ball, and then throw it at another kid's head. They're really hard and it really hurt. Surely everybody did that. Okay, I don't know what the R meant. I never understood what the R meant. Using my gigantic adult brain, I still don't know what it means. Not every kid is that fun. That's not violence, it's just school spirit. Yeah, I just don't want to be here. Let's get away from the big, big nasties. 
I need to find that ID card. <laughs> R for rotate, nonsense. Nonsense he is spitting there. Okay, we've looked down to the south, didn't really look over to the southwest though. Mm, blocked off, I think I have to go up and around. Very generous of it to give me these back at spawn. I'll keep that in mind if I run out of snares, big explosive snares. Now if you jump into this electric fence, the expected happens. I'm not going to do that twice, it costs a lot of health. The health bar is very deceptive in this game because it closes in from both directions. So apparently in the PC version you could... Oh? Am I getting information from that? No, I think that was just a randomly timed... No, no, maybe. Yeah, I guess these wee things just give you some some hints. Your motion sensor will only work when... And I didn't catch all of that. Got any more hints for me? Run. Dennis Nerdy is calling me a sucker. Who is this Dennis Nerdy? He doesn't look like a nice chap. There's got to be people around here who know the Jurassic Park lore. It would open up a computer screen like that. Okay, there's no way they had space for that on the PC. Uh, on the Super Nintendo version. Now I can't hit that, but I think if you shoot it with a projectile... Oh yeah, that's what we're talking about. Let's go and get those eggs. Maybe somebody could fish up the manual for this game and perhaps explain what we're doing here and why we're doing it. It's definitely get all the eggs, and I think that's followed by get on the chopper. But of course I never got that far. Never found all 18 of these eggs. And then we find it's something like 200 on the PC version. Let's top up the old rockets. Sure, I'll find an extra life. I don't even know if those spawn. Ah, oh, man, Grant Boy is almost dead again. Also, those big things get in the way of me seeing. I almost didn't see the vines there, which do hurt if you step on them. That Ian Malcolm looks like one cool cat. Oh, jeez! Well, that was very unfortunate. I think I did get a warning about running like hell. Ah, uh, here it is. The, the patches of something or other are very territorial. Stay out of their way. The manual does have a map. Okay, well, I do not, so... If I had a manual as a kid, I would have been looking at that thing for its map. So I obviously didn't have a manual. Yeah, no, no, this, this feels very much like a game that uh, we would have picked out of Virgin Megastore's Bargain Bucket. And that's exactly where Draken came from. Interestingly enough, I did have the manual for Draken. Sometimes they would have the, the box and or the manual elastic banded next to it. Do not let the dilapid... Yeah, I've seen plenty of them. I know not to let them spit on the game. I think they knew what they were doing with this so-called advice that obfuscates two-thirds of the screen. But they also damn well knew what they were doing with the music. My god, I need to find whatever else this composer has worked on. Oh! <laughs> Why? <laughs> Why cover up my screen like that? Oh, Kriven's dying right next to the health on top of that. Well, having gotten the eggs there, maybe I don't need to go that way again. I'm also out of rockets. Bummer. Oh well, let's just head along the water.
looking for another building. I recall there being quite a few more. Oh, well, here's one. Ah, but I can't walk. Oh, well. Why even do that? Why just not cross the water? Ah yes, here we go. I've been to Jurassic Park land in Islands of Adventure. This must be the visitor center. Yeah. No, 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 no. If I stun them, they will get back up, so I'm a little hesitant to leave anything still standing in these first person segments. Hmm. Appears to be the shadow realm inside that, uh, that oven. It's weird how the dinos just stand there. Some of them are roaming about, but they just kind of pace back and forth in the same area. I guess there's a limit to what they could do with this technology. Big waste getting that first aid kit. Although they use the Red Cross, which is not allowed. I'll have to contact them and make sure that they patch their game. So I need to come back here with John Hammond's thing. Uh, oh, okay. I guess I'll just die then. Huh. Maybe you only get night vision goggles for the area that you're in. I got the battery. Or maybe, yeah, maybe you lose your night vision whenever you die. Hmm. Both seem plausible. It was only a few years ago that another Jurassic Park film came out. Was it terrible? I got the impression it was terrible. I wasn't watching it, but my... Uh, I think it was around Christmas time. My folks always like to have a movie to watch around Christmas, and they chose Jurassic... Jurassic something or other. So I was just hearing it in the background, but it sounded awful. Like, really bad. I wonder if that manual is the maps for the insides of these places as well, because this is all just the same and same and more. The Jurassic World game was okay, but it just, it just lacked, lacked that something. First, the new trilogy was alright, it's just a mess of sequels and re- but how far can you take this one idea? Well, let's have an island full of ferocious dinosaurs, invite the public to it, and watch as everything goes wrong. Has there been any innovation on that idea? Kind of begging the question there, and I know it. Ooh, walk-in freezers. Those are lovely on a hot day. Ooh, you are not, though. Careful, Jake, that is not the kind of question you want to ask Hollywood. Don't make a habit of speaking to Hollywood. Oh, we can go up twice. I'll oh, forget it, we'll check out this floor for now. Might find those night vision goggles. Oh, no, no, no. You guys just get out of here. Thankfully, they won't respawn. Interesting room, full of things I don't want. Well, the health's quite nice, but unfortunately you pick it up even if you're not hurt. I think this is the first place you're meant to go. It seems really friendly. Lots of... Lots of items and health for you, and enemies that are just asking to be killed. Is that it? Is it just going around in a square circle? Never, never settle for the gas grenades, they're so bad. I believe it usually takes two gassings to just bring one down and it will get back up again. Dennis Henry's I Okay, all these names that are just in one ear and out the other. 
I think it was Ian for the place in the south. Mr. Hendry here, and there was a nerd, I think, as well. Yeah, we did turn on the generator. Hopefully it doesn't turn off when you die. How far in Jake's childhood are we exactly, says Modo. 1993, I believe. Funny, my brother's never showed much interest in this game. Don't know why. Well, I, I can hazard why. My eldest brother was mostly into RPGs. My middle brother was mostly into fighting games. So middle... Oh, This isn't the way we came in. Oh, it's the roof! How did all these buggers get in the roof? Chickens can't fly. Big Al told me so. Yeah, so Middlebro played a lot of Street Fighter. And, and just about only Street Fighter. He didn't play Tekken, he wasn't into Smash. Mr. Grant. Ah, Hammond. Wasn't Hammond's ID guard one that I needed in the south? I feel like it was. Yeah, he wasn't playing Tekken. The one time we played Smash Brothers together, I kicked his ass. And then he never played with me again. I think my eldest bro still plays Pokemon. That's what the doctor ordered. Twelve eggs remain. See, if it was the six like I thought it was, we'd be done a what? No! <laughs> I didn't think chickens could jump that high. Uh, what did you mean in Smash? Nez. Nez for days. What about Street Fighter? Oh, um... Didn't really have much of a main in Street Fighter. I tried to make Dan Hibiki work. If nothing else, he was a tanky bugger. Oh, this is a great opportunity to see if those ID cards stay on us or if we need to go back and get them. A lot of games in the time period were very cruel like that on the deaths, taking away progression items from you, but no, it looks like we keep the ID card. Um... No, I don't really think I mained in Street Fighter, I just kept going through them. These days it's all Balrog all day, every day. And on the rare occasion that Balrog is not available, I'll take a similar character who does nothing but punch, like Dudley. Yeah, on the Street Fighter 2 weekly one-shot, uh, weekly one-shot, it was nothing but Balrog. And all the better for it, that was, that was such great fun. Just punching my way through that game. And it went really smoothly too, except for one this small little hiccup we had regarding Ryu. Oh, Ryu was a nightmare. Okay, so my complete lack of short-term memory is betraying me here. I can't remember whose ID card I needed. Dennis Henry's, but I also needed somebody's ID card on the ground floor. You can't walk through the doors until they're fully open, which is why it looks like I'm nuzzling the wall. The weekly one-shot. It's certainly been accurate for recent times. People abusing my poor weekly one-shot, using it as a medium to put through punishment games, it's just... It just ain't right. But it's important to me that absolutely anybody can put forward weekly one-shots. Perhaps it shouldn't be so important. We need Henry's from the southwest. We picked up Hammond's. Where did we need it? Curses. See, I thought I had night vision, but uh, clearly not. Do you know which game you're running this week? I do not, actually. I've got a few contenders for spooky games, so I haven't picked one from amongst them. But we're still in spooky time, so it's going to be another spooky game. Incidentally, there's not going to be a weekly one-shot on Halloween. I'm actually going to be taking a week off 
uh, in about a week. I got some company coming over, and whilst I certainly could still be streaming while they're here, I've decided against it. Good friends I haven't seen in a while, so let's uh, spend some actual time with them. Where the heck did I need to use that ID card? Everything just looks the same here. Now, Dino Crisis is a pretty great game, I can't deny that. I slightly regret not finishing it. Mm -hmm. This doesn't look like the elevator I took. Is this a different one? Maybe one that goes underground? Man, I am too clever. We can go underground here. I feel like the biggest bonus of streaming as a career is being able to say, F it, I want this week off. You can do that in a regular job, though. You might make some people unhappy, but too bloody bad. It's not your job to make people happy. Unless it is your job to make people happy. In that case, well, you did a bad job that week. <laughs> not in the jobs, eh? <laughs> if there's one bit of advice I once heard that I quite liked, and I guess it wasn't really advice, it was probably just somebody moaning, but regardless... Somebody said, uh, blah, 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 free time, if only I had free time. And, so, and the response was, all time is free time. That one rang pretty true with me. Unless you're in third world countries where laws don't mandate days off at will, I fear for those poor people. That must really suck. Right, this looks somewhat familiar. I think we need to bash around on a control panel here. Is your job making us happy? No. No, it is not. If I had a job that just revol uh, rev uh, revolved around making people happy... I think I'd be fired pretty quickly. Ellie Statler. If, you, if you're into Jurassic Park, I guess you know all these names, but I don't. I could have sworn there was a generator or something I need to power up down here. There was in the other place that I've been in, but not happening here. smoothly. I can only assume that- Oh, that's what we're looking for! We got the night vision goggles. Which I can only assume are night vision goggles specifically and only for this building. So now I can head back up and go into the dark zone. Enter the shadow realm. I check out over here. Oh yeah! So that's the guy that just insta-kills you if you walk in here without night vision. But that's odd. There's nothing except rocket launcher ammunition, and I have lots of rocket launcher ammunition. The maximum amount, even. Still, this isn't the only night vision place. This is probably the small reward for getting night vision, and then you actually have to go and get progression upstairs. So back up we go. Punk Rock Lee, we do know the options for the long play vote. Right, back upstairs. Was it upstairs, actually? Oh, jeez, now I can't remember. Where was I needing all my night vision Googles for? So it's that lewd, weeby game, uh, something Castle Meister. It's not PUBG decided against that after the stream yesterday, which was great fun. Really enjoyed playing that game, and I will play more of it. But I'll be doing that in my free time. Uh, Just Cause 3, the Professor Layton Nintendo DS Trilogy, Subnautica Below Zero, and there was one more. What was the one more? 
the Rift Breaker, that was it. Those are the five. I can never make more than five as an option, but I can make less than five as an option. Thomas says, Professor Layton, that would be great, and it could be great if you vote for it. If you don't vote for it, then you're at the mercy of your fellow chatters, who have a habit of just going for the most punishing option. Here we go, this is Night Vision Goggle Land, and that's just what the doctor ordered. Alan Grant, can anyone with a better memory than me remember where we needed Mr. Grant's ID card? Was it still in this building? I should be taking notes or something here. Something like visitor center, second floor. This ID card needed. Just Cause 2. I wouldn't go so far as to say it was one of my favorite games, but I adored that game. And I was actually going to make Just Cause 2 the long play option, because I haven't played it in about a decade, so I would have no problem playing through it again. It would still all feel new to me. But uh, somebody put forward Just Cause 3 as an option, so well, let's give it a go. But again, it's all for cannot if it doesn't get rolled. I, I realise I say that quite often, it probably makes no sense. I say all for cannot. The phrase is all for not, meaning worthless, useless, all amounts to nothing. But, because I quite like the, uh, the word cannot. I use that instead. Ah, it was Dennis Nedry's. Cannot being the the Irish province in EU4. Remember that old old dinosaur of a game, EU4. Fond memories, but that's all it is now. Memories. Are all the plays blind plays? I think they're all blind. Yes, I haven't played any of them before. Although, for almost all of them, I have an idea. Oh, no, no, that's not true. I played uh, I played Professor Layton. I played every single Professor Layton game that has come out. But uh, it's been so long since I've played the DS trilogy that I don't even remember the plots. Oh, crumbs. Now we're back up here. Hmm. Perhaps I, perhaps I wasn't anywhere else needing my, my ID cards around here. One quick check over here. No, nothing. Then let's get out of here. I need to go back down south and use this ID card, most likely. <laughs> Pod Racer, the shortest long play that we actually beat. Uh, whoops, didn't mean to come out so quick. Given your memories at times, Jake, that could just as well have been last week. I do have a pretty bad memory. A, a really awful memory, in fact. It's led to me making some people incredibly unhappy with it, but too bad. I don't let it get me down. In fact, I see the positives out of it. Being able to relive something that uh, you enjoyed and managed to forget could be amazing. You ever read something or watched something and thought that was so good, and years later you kind of wish you could erase all memory of it so you could watch it again and enjoy it all over? Well, having a really terrible memory allows you to do that, and you don't even have to work on it. Of course, it does mean remembering things like birthdays, anniversaries, things people like, things people want you to remember. It doesn't really work out very well, but a lot of that can be subsidized by making notes, and I make a lot of notes. Yeah, having a bad memory is about as good as having a good memory. It's just different. Whoa! Get out of here. It's just different flavors of good. The trick is just to exploit it correctly. Okay, we've learned a valuable lesson. Out in the field, the medipacks do not regenerate. If you need health, you've got to get into the buildings. But who needs health when there's this jamming beat? Why are we not here? Stay away from me! 
Indeed, Jake, have you ever considered playing Dragon's Dogma? A great game you will never have tried before. Your memory can well attest to. But look at it, the other one. Imagine going through the misery of Dragon's Dogma again. Oh. I tried to summon every last bit of positive thinking I had for that game and it still wasn't enough. And I've got a lot. Conceptually, great game. In practice, bloody awful game. So, pretty sure I still have my night vision goggles for this one. Still can't be booted, okay. I think I've already gotten further than I ever did as a kid in this game. Again, it was 1993, brain hadn't quite developed to the point of understanding how all this works. Then again, I played a lot of other games in 1993. More linear games though, maybe that's where my love for linear games comes from. My brain has not, has still not advanced to the point where I can handle complex... Can we go in? Yeah, of course we can go in. My brain still cannot handle complex concepts such as uh, multiple routes through any one place. Where the dickens was I meant to go here? Somewhere needed an ID card. Oh, it's just night vision land. I was born in 1993, confesses blown away. This game is the same age as me. Interesting. Okay, well here's the follow-up question. Which is more impressive? That's where I need to go. Down in the elevator. <laughs> this game definitely. <laughs> but your name is blown away. Don't you blow people away? Maybe you... Okay, Len, no, let's, let's not go there. Let's leave some stones unturned. Right, so in this nuclear facility, why they need nuclear power on a dinosaur containment island, I do not know. I assume it's to power the electric gates that never seem to work in keeping the dinos at bay. Lots of health and goodies to be had here. I'd hate to have to backtrack here, though. It'd be worse than backtracking to that special place in Super Mario World where you get full power-ups in the Yoshi Egg. No, I think I need to make a left turn. Okay, I'm running out of ideas here. Where did I need the ID card? Why was he in Malcolm's card? Whose card did I get? Oh, jeez. Maybe there's another whole new place I need to go and investigate. Is Castlemeister even allowed on Twitch, or will it require alternative streaming services? It might require alternative streaming thingamajiggers, but what I will do is, if it's anything like Kamidori, it actually goes a long time without showing any lewd. So I shall put a bit of time and elbow grease into censoring the game for Twitch's Puritan overlords. And if that still isn't enough, then I guess we'll go and find some alternative streaming. Unfortunately, uh, Mixer banned me, and then I banned Mixer. But that's a different story. So Mixer's out of the question. Yeah, it, it probably uses the same file structure as uh, Kamidori does, so it should be an easy one to to manipulate. Get the censorship going. I think there's a bit of climbing to be done here. Yeah. Or have I already done this part? No, the other part wasn't this tall. No, this was the part I did. Okay, never mind me. I was just too anxious to get back and enjoy the Donkey Kong Country level music. 
Time to give that YouTube live thing a chance. Yeah, no, I could I could go for that. YouTube has not complained one bit about the lewd content that I have uploaded there. I did Honey Cam, Honey Pop, Camidori, Rants. And YouTube's just like, yep, bring it on. Good old YouTube. They understand the need for lewds. Okay, well, he ran away scared. I'm running out of places to go now. I'm certain there are other buildings. In fact, the map is a lot larger than what we've seen thus far, but I don't know how to get to it. Perhaps I... Oh, Cribbins, no. Perhaps I need to go back up to the place where I got stampeded to death. I didn't return there after I got smushed, but I uh, can't remember how I got there in the first place. Smushed. Been watching a lot of Bob Ross lately. And he keeps going on about uh, the word smushed. Did you ever go across the bridge to the right of the visitor center? The right of it. Uh, I'm pretty sure I... Well, knowing me, I might have not. Well, if, even if I did, I didn't explore it Fully, yeah, no, I didn't go over here, did I? Good call. Oh, crap. Yeah, those those things can bump you into the water, and that's an instant kill. Be careful around blind corners. The T-Rex is free. All the dinosaurs are free, Alley. Now, give me your ID card, or at least tell me where it is. Need to wait for your... Wait, what? Is that not going to... Hmm. Interesting. Perhaps it's a one-way sort of affair here. I find it quite cool, the, the bar for your electric gun thing. The way it goes down and back up. Very unorthodox for a power bar. I don't remember this music. Probably go away when we do. What is this place? Very hard to aim this thing because you just do diagonals like that, so if a wee bit's uh, out of your range, good luck hitting it. Now, what's this place all about? Some kind of garden? The raptor pen, close enough. This guy explores rooms like I explore rooms in PUBG. Ooh, thank you. <laughs> okay, we haven't found a single useful console yet. I didn't mean to leave, but I did leave. This reminds me of games I played in the N64 I got from my cousin. Some of the older games have the best music. Now that is categorically untrue, but it can feel that way. That, oh no, that was a, that was a lift all along. I don't think I got Nedry's ID yet, Foomer. There we go. I think that's you dead. Ah, uh, that will probably kill me because I don't have night vision goggles specifically for this place. Which is a weird way to do things, isn't it? There's a different kind of darkness in here, so I need a different kind of battery for my night vision goggles. Ooh, but I wouldn't mind myself some Geneva Convention breaching 
Got Red Cross Medipack. Cannot even begin to imagine how they render this on a Super Nintendo console. Even at this, what, 10 frames per second rate? Hmm. On my first laptop, I played uh, Left 4 Dead at a rate what about this. Sometimes it dropped lower if the thing was overheating. There was a game that had more impressive FPS stuff than this on the NES. A game I've streamed before as well, it's called Rescue Embassy Mission. I think it goes by another name, uh, Hostages I believe it's called, in probably America? I wouldn't know. It was faster paced than this, and you could actually aim your gun in these segments rather than just slowly looking around. Actually, now that I think about it, was it even first person? It might have been fixed perspective third person. I haven't played the game in a while. No, 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 I definitely had first person second. I remember looking down the hallways, shooting down them. Very unfairly spawn camping against the terrorists. Now that somebody has told me this came out on the PC, I'm going to have to check out the PC version. I can only imagine how much better this is, and much like the amount of stuff they cut out of Doom, they probably cut a lot out of this for the SNES release. So much was lost from Doom. In the okay, that's that's nasty. Such an unbelievable amount was cut out of Doom for the Super Nintendo release. Still impressive, though. Buck Bumble was so bad stranded in space. I'm surprised you played enough of it to appreciate the soundtrack. Seldom did I get past the start menu of that game, because it was just so awful. Not the start menu, just the game in general. Fortunately that wasn't my brother's. Uh, that wasn't my game, it was my middle brother's game. <laughs> Not my brother. Vigilant the second. I hope you mean Vigilante's the second offense. Uh, Vigilante eight, rather. I was when I was thinking about what to stream today. A little bit of me was thinking, why do you crack out Vigilante? I don't think you've ever played that on stream. I've gone through a lot of my childhood games, but there are still some notable ones that I have not yet streamed, and Vigilante eight is one of them. God, I wish you could strafe in this. It'd be so much easier to get around. I suck at typing and spelling. Yeah, you're not doing good for the impression of you here, blown away. You say this game is more impressive than you. Can't even articulate your thoughts. See, I was thinking that as well, Jagger. Surely by now I would have streamed Vigilante 8, but I have no recollection of that. It's a bit of a rough game and it's quite ugly. But I still played a lot of it. Still going down, this is a deep place. So this game has a score. I don't think it matters at all. We were still in this uh, period of making games where score had to be put onto anything and everything. Because otherwise people wouldn't remain engaged. I don't understand the logic either. For a lot of dev teams, it took a long time to even shake that away. I can't think of any examples of it today though. Most score systems now actually serve some sort of purpose. The 
most recent example I can think of of an error score system that's just useless is actually Fort Zombie. Fort Zombie had a scoring system, why? I don't know. Nobody cared about it. Then again, nobody cared about the game. And it served no purpose at all. CK2 had a score system. Uh, didn't that actually so well, you know, so does EU4. That can be understood though, it's a multiplayer game. It's your way of comparing your performance to another's. Even if uh, Paradox's way of using score can seem like some of the most baffling around, there's a thread of logic to it. Is there really nothing in this room? Activate eyes, people. That's the entrance. Hold on, is that a door? No, no it is not. Let's sniff the walls for a bit, Doom, doom Guy style. Unf, 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 unf. Ah, a nothing room. Does Dolores have a score system? I don't recall it having a score system, but me and Stellaris broke up long ago. And I'm not sure I could ever take it back. I'm not sure it would want me back either. I mean, to me that game was swiftly and apparently just memes in space, and since I don't like either of those two things... Activating enough on a strategic leap, uh, level either, and to top it all off, the performance was, and I can only assume still is, garbage. So, meh. So, Clearly, this combat here that we're seeing in this first-person segment is not challenging, and not particularly scary. But, uh... Cast your mind back to 1993. This is a different story altogether. I probably wouldn't have had the wherewithal to save up my good ammo and things for this, either. What is this? Oh wait, I guess it's just uh, cages. We're still in the raptor. Uh, Emporium, after all. Stellaris is not great when it comes to performance, and it takes forever to move anywhere. That's what I recall. That crate is an objective. What? Can I collect it or blow it up? seem to do anything, Boomer. Have you played this game, Boomer? You seem to know something or two about it. Damn, I was trying to go for a multi-kill with my snare gun. The snare gun that blows things up. Maybe on the PC version it actually snares them. But uh, that was too much animation and work, so they cut it for the SNES version. That might sound callous, but I, I think that might be exactly what happened. There we go, that's what I want, the multi-kill. Oh, and that's very much what I want, the extra life. I do not want to be sent back after getting this far. My brother and I were playing a multiplayer Stellaris game, towards the end it would freeze for like 10 seconds at the start of every year. Sounds like you're playing The Sims 3 there. What a miserable experience playing The Sims is in the late game. There's nothing to accomplish and the game lags like hell, so you can't even enjoy just watching your comfy, accomplished family. In games like that, I, I, like, the, I like the struggle to get somewhere, but at the end of it, I like to just sit back and look at what I've created, just kind of watch it unfold. I've been doing that in CK3 quite a bit lately. CK3 is such an easy game. It's kind of insultingly easy, actually. But I'd made my giant Basque Empire. And actually hit the vassal limit, so I couldn't even expand anymore. So I was just throwing my dynasty far and wide. Like, I'm making about 50 or 60 renown every month. But at that point, I just like to sit back and, and watch. Because it's fun to see the stories unfold when you don't have to worry about anything happening back in your own domain. 
Really, is this? I haven't found any progression down here. I suck at CK3 says Flipsy Doodle. How? It's not a game that one can conceivably suck at. CK3 is just a. When it comes to challenge, you just imagine what you want to do and do it. That's my big problem with CK3. Right, I think. I've got two different options for elevators. Which one's which? I suppose the one that goes down is the one that I want. And this one does not go down, so I don't want it. Yeah, I think Crate Room's elevator is the one that I need then. Yeah, who was I playing? I think I was playing as the Count of Aragon, something like that. And before we'd even had our first succession, I was the king of Avignon? Not Avignon. Aquitaine. Jinx. Should be flayed alive for getting those mixed up. And then, before the next succession, we were our custom kingdom of... Wait, this one goes up as well. Oh, what the hell, we'll take it. Uh, I forget the name. It's a Basque name that I struggle to pronounce. And then by the next uh, next succession, we had everything from Portugal to uh, to West Francia. Finished it off with Bergen, no Lotharingia, and uh, and the Dutch uh, the Dutch lands, the Netherlands. There we go. And then it was like, okay, well, I don't want to, and also cannot expand further than this. Because I'm a neat freak when it comes to CK3. I want all uh, all my subjects must be duchies, because if you make kingdoms, the duchies under them get all sorts of uppity. Since your kingdoms themselves won't keep high crown, uh, high crown authority. Their own subjects just go conquering, and I don't want that. So nothing but duchies under me. All that land... Everything integrated into my custom empire. And that was it, right? That was all I wanted. I just wanted to sit back and watch my can my uh, watch my lands like that. That's pretty much what I do. I can sit down for a couple hours and just watch the carnage unfold. It can be fun to install your dynasty on, say, the island of Cyprus and let them go independent. They're not going to be very threatened. And then... They're just there, adding renown, and then before you know it, oh, Cyprus owns all of Egypt. I wonder how that happened. Then you pick through the inheritance and see how that came to be. That I find very interesting. And thankfully the game doesn't have abysmal performance, so you can do that. But when it comes to a game like Stellaris, different story altogether. Was this where I wanted to go? I am all... Ah, oh, for Christ's sake! Done in by Ellie again. Got back to playing CK2, says Ionshix. Yeah. yeah. My big problem with CK3 is that it's devoid of content. No matter where in the world you play, you still feel like you're just playing as a Central European medieval lord. I tried playing in Western Africa. Just, it, I, don't, I wasn't playing in Western Africa at all. Also, it wasn't West, it was East. There's an ID card on sub level 1 we need to collect. And the crate puzzle on sub-level 2. That was a puzzle? I thought it was just a crate there that couldn't be interacted with. You're not reading, like, the PC version FAQ, are you? How long has it been since CK3 came out now? Over a year? The idea that Paradox would go that long without actually adding to it is not the Paradox I know. Anybody who actually knows a bit of orienteering is probably screaming at me for just going back and forth. Ah, oh, Christ, I'm just back here. Where was I meant to go? 1st September 2020. Yeah, and they've just done nothing for it. Sure, there was that Northern Lord stuff, but that was actually nothing. There's a term for that, isn't there? A nothing burger? Something like that. It just didn't do anything. It added Viking invasions, which are really just easy fights. They don't even have to fight. 
and duels, which are just... I've seen a lot of things be implemented in Paradox games. I struggle to think of many things that would have been implemented worse than that. It reminds me a lot of um, those books. Flip to page 13 for the outcome of these choices you make. Maybe it's different if, you, if you're playing as the, uh, the Vikings. Back in school, we had to read books. Horrible, I know, but um, to get around that, I would grab a, an errant book from the library. That's one of those choose-your-own-adventure things. Oh, that's great. Of course, nobody was the wiser. Right, I feel like I've missed something going on in there, but we can just ignore it and carry on elsewhere. The next DLC is a big 30 bucks DLC. I'm sure they'll fill those 30 bucks with something. Yeah, bite my tongue on that matter. Oh yeah, I remember being here. This thing killed me. Well, not anymore. The hunter has become the hunted. And where did I get squished? I'm uh, pretty sure I got squished somewhere around here. Yeah, because those choose your own adventure books at least felt like a game, except it was a book. I've never felt a particularly strong affinity with books, except for the short period of my life where I was big into Terry Pratchett. A very happy day that I remember is going to uh, the school library. Yeah, I remember this. Thanks, Tim Murphy, for covering up my screen with your warning. If you see the thing, run like hell. Gotcha. There it is, and I'm running. I can run beside it. Yeah, so I, I was at my school library and they were selling a bunch of their books because they needed to make space for new books. And something ridiculous like 10 or 50 pence per book. And they were shifting all their Terry Pratchett stuff. I was there with a friend of mine who also liked Pratchett, but I saw the books first and I grabbed them all before he did. That's alright, I'm a caring soul. I let him have the ones that I already had. these at all. I've got one of my books signed by the man himself. Guards, guards. I, I just really like Pratchett's style of writing. He'd write something and then go off on a tangent for 15 pages about it. I was expecting to find anything over here. I wasn't aware that I was playing Jurassic Park Randomizer. And yeah, exactly. That's the kind of tangents I'm talking about. He had this whole thing about brains in your feet. I forget if I was a DDR player by then or not. I'm running out of ideas of where to go here. Perhaps down here to the southwest? As long as I can enjoy this banging music, it's all fine. Dying would be slightly less fine, though. If you step on danger panels, you get zapped, much like you do if you run straight into the electric fences. And having 
just topped my lives back up to four. I'm not keen on bringing them down. Do not get close to the Dilophosaurus. They're sp yeah, we gathered that. We've been spat at many times. It's not that deadly. So just making a mountain out of proverbial molehill. Yeah, I, I came down here for an ID card, but from where I can't remember. Where am I meant to go? Did I ever recheck that place down south? I think I did. And I didn't get anywhere with it. Because I needed Ellie's ID card. Boomer was saying I didn't solve the crate puzzle. Hmm. What puzzle, though? It was a crate that I couldn't interact with. Oh, well, here we go. Something to be said for that. Whoa, oh, there's something to be said for this as well. Get out of my way. Shoot it in the bum as well. Did it perhaps run towards uh, an item that I need? No. We still need Nedry's ID card, and you are able to interact with the crate. Well... We get an opportunity, back we go. Ooh, but I've ever been on this side of the fence. Ugh. Oh no, people are talking about books in chat, never should have brought it up. In the end, I just found gaming to be superior to books, I prefer an interactive format. I suppose that's also why I don't particularly like uh, TV either. Oh! Jesus! Kind of came out of nowhere. Uh -huh. Parts of that music sound like it's from Draken. Life here. Any health, any health, any health. Oh! Jeez! What? Well, that didn't seem good at all. Now I have to remember how I got back over there. I believe it started by crossing this. I'm glad I'm wildcarding this instead of putting it on the weekly one-shot. I could only imagine the frustration of having to go through this on the weekly one-shot. Well, actually, if I was doing that, I probably would have prepared by getting the map and the manual. This ain't right. No, I, I did this circle around and went, ooh, maybe I should go southwest instead. That's how it went. There, guys. Ooh. Quite like Mr. Grant's strut here, though. He's just here to get on with things. Right. Raptors will not attack unless you shoot them. I don't believe that. Well, yeah, I just got attacked, although maybe that wasn't a ra oh, Christ. Ah, maybe, just maybe, those things act as not quite save points, but restart points. I don't know, Jorlum. I do not know. 
I'm under no illusions that I'm equipped to beat this game, but... Voomer seems to be on my side today, so I might be in with a shot. Ah, there's that first aid that I have a little use for now. Yeah, this is where I got the card before, but from here I think we can just grab it while we... Mm, nah, leave it. Leave it be. like my ammo is not running out though, doesn't it? I think I've just picked up so many rockets that I'm firing them that it's gone above what it shows on the, uh, on the display. This feels familiar. Down here. It's just a map or having the game zoomed out more go a long way here. Now this time I'll enter the building. Could be just what I need. I only know a handful of Super Nintendo games and this is one of that is shocking. Also it's the beach utility shed. Doesn't look like what I'd expect out of a beach utility shed but Hold on, have we been here before? Feels familiar. Maybe the PC version actually has all the different textures and they could only afford to have a few of them running on the SNES. It feels, it feels similar because they all look identical, yes. How you're meant to orientate your way around this, I just... I don't know. Ooh, what have we here? All the things you'd need in a beach utility shed, that's for sure. Aha! Save me, Unix. Mmm, it will not. Curses. At least that score is going nowhere but up. Wait, haven't I been here before? I recall there being that, uh, that PC that I couldn't use. Evidently not! I've got Nerdy's ID card now. Where did I need Nerdy's thing? I think that was on the third floor of the visitor center. Yeah, because the only other one that I was needing was Ellie's, and that was in the basement of the somewhere. I'd like to thoroughly check this place out to make sure I'm not missing anything, but I lack the spatial awareness to be sure that I can do that. <laughs> How much do you want to bet that once you get the computers working you need to revisit all of them? Oh, naturally. Uh, but if I haven't been in here before... Oh, okay, right. Who the heck is Donald Gennards? Well, it matters not. We have something of an idea of where to go. Although, since I'm in a new territory, I should do a bit of exploring. And maybe not get head-banged by those wee rotters so much again. Oh, no, 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 no. We remember what's down here. The thinker kicked in and told me going down there will kill me. Yeah, but maybe he won't spawn if I hold way over to the left here. Seems risky. Also, why is there an E on the ground? Well, we've seen an R for Otate. Perhaps E for anything else? Grant. 
I can't really believe you, Nedry. No man that fat is trustworthy. Gennaro is a lawyer. He got munched by the T-Rex while you know. Good to see he's all well and alive here, though. Is that stampeding thing going to come back? Whoa! The SNES was very guilty of a lot of games that were just far too zoomed in. It's a problem on platformers, but it's a problem for these kinds of action shooters as well. Maybe they just expect you to have better reactions, but I certainly do not. You'd think a DDR player would have better reactions, but nope. Not for me, at least. Alan. Ah, Ellie, yes. I'm still looking for your ID card, but I'm going to assume that it's behind this other place that I'm going. Visitor Center. Let's have, let's have it. <laughs> Another no sign on this one. Well, no visitors, please. Oh yeah, SNES had tons of those movie games. They were really taken off at this point. Okay, well at least I can straight away go to the top here. Man, I'd love to go back to <sighs> Islands of Adventure. Jurassic Park World's a whole lot of fun. It's a shame they got rid of the Lost Continent for Harry Potter World. I understand the appeal of Harry Potter World, but uh, it's not for me. Was this really the way I was meant to go? Starting to have second thoughts, because there's the exit. I'm starting to have more than just second thoughts. Is there anything other than the exit here? Ah, Dang and blasted. Maybe it was on this floor. I'm glad to see somebody in chat is echoing my thoughts there, but yeah, the indoor parts of this game were mind-blowing at the time. You, you couldn't believe this was packed into a Super Nintendo. I mean, Doom was one thing, that game was all FPS. But this, it, hang on. Oh, right, this is the door that I've just opened using Nerdy's ID card. And hey, finally got access to a computer that might actually help us. God, it does. Reboot. <laughs> it's a picture of a boot. Hmm. Ractals? Inventory? Now, please help me. Use select button to toggle between weapon what? If you've gotten this far into the game without realizing that, then God help you. Click on the icon at the top left, take it to the main menu. Well, thanks for the system help there. On the outside, L or R will remove any message, but oh, that is actually quite useful. Fine tune your directions in the interiors. Yep, we know that. Communications. Ships. Mm, okay, what a shame. And how about in mainland? Oh. Hmm, well, that's a shame. Is that it? Well then, perhaps we could up the security around here? Request all the clearance, level 2. Oh, okay, I must have level 1. Well, give me level 1 then. Oh, 
Okay, well, we'd need another console for that. Very well. Touch screen in 1993. Very impressive. Oh, yeah, some of the gates are locked. Oh my god, a map. We finally have something resembling a map. Uh, click in the box to open the selected gate. Well, I need number two opened. Gate 2 lock has been disabled and now can be opened. Locks on gates 1 and 3 have now been... Oh, no. Oh, I don't like what I'm hearing. If I were to do 3... Oh, oh hell no. Oh, hell no. Right, where do I want to go then? I recall getting to number two not too long ago and having that locked, so let's, let's unlock that one. And can we do something with the motion sensors? Of course we can't. Jengs, I think Childhood Jake was doing, well, Childhood Jake a great favor by not progressing very far in this game. I think. Yeah, oh, jeez, okay. Ah, double okay. An extra life is just what the doctor ordered. Yeah, if you're wondering where my hatred of backtracking came from, it's from games like these. Doctor Wu. Maybe the manual can shed some light as to why exactly I'm here. Where are my compatriots? And why are none of them just giving me my ID cards ahead of time? Okay, well, we'll get out of here and we shall... Wait, where is out of here? We'll get out of here and go through gate two. Hopefully there's either Wu or Nerdy's ID card. Oh yeah, some, some well done VR Jurassic Park game would be pretty awesome. There were some promising things out of that Jurassic World Park Builder game, but it just didn't feel right to me. And I appreciate that's not a very good description of what was wrong with it, but... I played Operation Genesis and that was just what I wanted, and it was no Operation Genesis. And my biggest issue was just how big and bulky everything was in it, it didn't feel like I was making a nice park. Felt like I was just ticking boxes. Ooh, shanks. Hey, my motion detector thing is on. Also, I wasn't here before. And I didn't even need to unlock anything to get here. Sweet. Maybe Nerdy's ID card is up here. Cattle prod engage. Good call and the people telling me to crank up the music for this. I mean, I know it's good music, but it needs to be heard. Oh! <laughs> well, now, that was something, wasn't it? Cruel and unusual. This is an opportunity for me to head down this way, though, because we saw an egg. I like that word, egg. Thinking about it, the only thing I did was open up this gate. This... no, there is no gate here. Okay, well, never mind me.
Oh, I'm pretty sure you do. Whoops. Pretty sure you do. It's just now people can be more vocally against it. Was Gate 2 further north? I, I don't remember. I do not at all remember. Oh, there's R! What could it mean, though? Be gone. Man, this music's so good. There's no right being this good. Again, this game we picked up in a bargain bucket. Won't be fooled again by that. Oh, ho, 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 was just about fooled by that, though. Shakes heart in my mouth when I saw that thing coming down. Hesitation would have killed poor Grant here. Now that we know to press the L and R buttons to dismiss those, my life becomes easier. Nine more eggs. That means we're halfway through the egg counter. Not that we know- Oh! Crikey, what? <laughs> I tell you, that's just not right. Be ready with some... Guns that mean business. Hmm. Can I activate that from here? Sweet. Ooh, maybe not sweet. I do recall there being a boat level. shotty gun. That takes a lot of bullets where one will suffice. Yeah, yeah, I got memories of this. Makes sense, there was nothing physically stopping me from coming here. I sure hope this is some kind of first aid boat. Oh dear. God, this was terrifying back in the day. Got to do the door camping here to ensure survival. Oh hey, it's another crate. It's two crates even. Boy, I wonder how I can interact with them, Boomer. Got a lot of bullet, uh, a lot of buttons, and none of them do anything. Maybe these are just not the interactable crates. Very carefully. Well, nudging them isn't doing anything. Shooting them, shooting them with something else, tasing them. I'm afraid we're out of luck there. And that's the way I came. It's all the way I came. Um... Me need my new you. Whoa, now. Those ones are not interactable. It's so obvious the developers clearly signposted. I don't think they were worried about such things. They just wanted to get the game 
operational and shipped. Capitalize on Jurassic Park. When did the film come out, actually? Feels like another product of the 90s. Ooh, that's what we need. Batteries for our night vision goggles. Batteries that only work inside the ship. 1990? Well, they really waited three years in the game? Hmm. Suspicious on that one. 1993 was the film. Okay, yeah, so they did get the film out and the game out in the same year. So you should always be aiming for. For what it's worth, as movie tie-in games go, this is pretty good. The standards for that are exceptionally low. But it is good. It's not great. If you want a great movie tie-in game, you play Peter Jackson's King Kong The Movie The Game. Which, as ridiculous as it sounds, is actually a very solid game. Not just very solid, it's very good. Much like this game, it had everything going for it. Had cool action segments, shooty segments, you played as King Kong. I seem to recall the music being pretty good as well. It's been a long, long time since I played the game though. Could be my horrifically distorted. Oh, I'm having that. Out of my way. I need that energy increase. awfully suspicious. I've come all this way. I have found my night vision goggles, but there's been no indication of an underwater area. Not underwater, uh, in the dark area. I can only assume I am currently underwater. Did the movie flop? It's a rare case of a movie I actually watched, and I, I actually quite enjoyed it. I like this bit where a guy was getting eaten by a worm. out just about everything the ship has to offer. Maybe there's an alternative entrance that has the darkened area. Oh dear, oh dear. Is there really no other door in this room? I've never played any of the Telltale games. But as I understood it, they had one formula and just repeated it constantly. Evidently, with limited success. Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on. There was that door, but what about over here? Let's just exit again. Maybe there was something I missed over here. If there wasn't, I'll go and search for another entrance. No, it's just the room with the shotty shells. Okay. Oh, there is something else here. What have I missed? Ah. It was my mistake to assume that there wasn't another way around in here. But it's a good thing that I missed it till now, because I bet that's where the room with the darkness is. Let's see if the onboard ship computer can do a bit more than any other computer. Oh, promising. Give me some help, please. Uh, okay, I think we know about the cattle prod. I think we know about L and R now. Hammond, Grant, and Nedry's ID cards are held. Wait, I, oh yeah, of course I've got Nedry's. I'm looking for Woo's. And I think Ellie's. Goggles are all charged. What's a fractal's thing? I guess it's just that thing that's showing up in the background. Very well, give me a dragon. Um, I'm not seeing it personally. 
All right, we're on the ship. <laughs> okay, the ship communications is disabled from the ship console. Okay. Okay, okay. What can we have then? Mainland? No, no, we're not allowed to communicate with anybody. How about we just grab our mobile phone? We did have those in 1993. Okay, no, we're not allowed. Not allowed security clearance. The thing is, we have to find the one that gives us level 1 security clearance, and then probably backtrack to every console to find the one that gives level 2 security clearance. That sounds about as... well, that'll be about as fun as it sounds. Don't think I want to change the gate layout since I haven't been through number 2 yet. And yeah, I already had my motion sensors enabled. Looks like this doesn't do anything that we haven't already done. Maybe this is a place where I go to to get my level two clearance once we get level one, wherever we get level one. But I'm still also hoping that I'll get access to a new security card here. Oh. A lift. Don't want to go through that yet. I'm certain there's a another door back here. What do you have for me? That lot and nothing. They don't do that very often in games anymore. Just add nothing rooms. to serve a purpose these days. Righto, down we go. Oh, if we can go further down, the ship is bigger than I thought. Thankfully, I'm not the only one experiencing lag down here. Evidently, the dinosaurs do as well. Were you into the Professor Layton game? Yeah, I played every single Professor game. I'm, I, maybe there's some mobile games that have come out that I'm not aware of, but I believe I've played every single Professor Layton game and watched the movie. And if there's any other Professor Layton media out there... Actually, I'm not so sure I'd be that eager to get my hands on it, but... Around that time that Professor Layton was in full swing, I ate it all up. But I've forgotten so much of it, so going through uh, going through the DS trilogy again would be a-okay. Besides, it'd be nice to it'd be nice to go through like dedicated puzzle and riddles on stream. Probably aggravating as well because all these people go, oh, I see it, when they don't actually see it, they just want to add the pressure of it. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, getting, getting mulched here. Get out of here. Oh, dearie me. It's you, right. That's obviously a dinosaur we're looking at. And away it goes. And that is the ID card. Dr. Wu, right, back to the place. Where do we need Dr. Wu's ID card? Abandon keys. Visitor center, gotcha. I think I left chicken upstairs. Ah, we press on. I never liked Mist, it never clicked with me. Although I did watch an interesting documentary on how Mist was made. Very impressive, technically. Ray Arnold's ID card. Whoa, no, no, no. Can't be risking anything with the with the dino friends here. 
sorry, Grimlock. You're too much of a risk for me. Okay, well, what can we do on this one? Maybe some better fractals for one. I want to see Bert. Is this Bert? What is that meant to be? Well, let's see if these... No, okay. No ship communications from the ship. How about mainland communication? Nope. Could we do anything, please, computer? Mm, no, I don't even know what uh, security clearance would get me, though. Bert equals Mr. Maze. <laughs> I hope you tune in for a stream of Mr. Maze, too. I mean, Jing's looking at that ending. There's bound to be one. And again, I hope that for Terranigma as well. There was no Terranigma, too. Right, I don't think this is doing anything for me, but again, it might be a place I have to come and check for security clearance level 2 once I get level 1. We are, after all, on... <sighs> ship level 2. Again, better at securing my corners here than I was in PUBG. PUBG was so much fun. I'm um, actually... Mm, don't know when I'll get a chance to play it in my free time as well. All time is free time, but I got stuff coming up. Oh, Ray Arnold. Ray Arnold must be some kind of boatman. He's needed all over the ship. Back in my day, Jake didn't have a schedule, and he streamed Terranigma yearly. <laughs> Good times, TBW. Can you remember the first stream that you turned up for here? You're, you're one of the oldest pieces of furniture there is, and also one of the most vocal. I was thinking about a game lately, and all I could remember was TBW was very unhappy during the entire streaming of it. Hmm. Dunno, it was an old uh, Two Hours of Hell. And it wasn't Kalas Pufar Express then. Multiplayer 1 involving Dali. Oh, man. I lost a lot of stuff from accepting a jovial offer of vassalization. Good old EU4 MPs. There's the emergency chicken I left behind for me. We've all had days like that. We're feeling awfully beaten down and then we discover that emergency piece of food we left for ourselves. It's not always a leg of chicken, but when it is, it's a good call. Is there anything else I missed aside from that? I feel like a beeline for there? No, no I didn't. I went over here and I think this is the nothing room. Was it? I, oh, no, no, we, we were here. We were here long ago. Still, we have Woo's card, which means we can progress in the visitor center. And progress we shall. This looks not unlike the screensaver, the maze screensaver from 1990-something. But the screensaver had better FPS. Frames per second and first-person shooting. Drowning in rockets, what's a man to do? Eight eggs to go. I saw a post on Reddit saying Three Mountains guy was playing a hilariously weak Burmese tag in multiplayer, and since I had just made a Twitch account, I figured I'd watch. Hilariously weak Burmese tag in multiplayer. Wait, did I actually do Dali in multiplayer? I remember doing 
I remember having a grim time as Dally in single player. Maybe that was much later. Secure the visitor center, find out how the raptors get in, and stop them. I think we're a bit beyond doing such things, but whatever. Seven eggs to go. Oh, and some health. I am doing much better at this game now than I ever did as a kid. Maybe I'll just beat this game here today. I didn't want the wildcard stream going on too long because in the off chance that the winner of the long play vote was the, uh, oh, what was it? What's that game called? The one with the building and the shooting. Oh, jeez, how can I not remember this? Come on, you made the list. The Rift Breaker, there we go. In the off chance that the Rift Breaker wins, I think it's on sale for the next couple of hours or so. Oh, but look at that. Plowing through the eggs might not be a problem. Is Fortnite free to play? I might have to check that out now that I've seen how decent PUBG was. Some people were saying Fortnite's the better game. <laughs> Revenant and Hess slowing down the whole game. Uh, the brutality of EU4 MP when you have that one person on awful German internet. Four hours left. Okay, we're good then. If it wins, I'll go and nab that game as swiftly as possible. Never heard of Septera Core Rook. Oh god, I'm paranoid about the rocks falling here. I need to edge. Oh! Gosh. <laughs> the rocks are a trap. It's really the raptor to be afraid of. Well, is that even a raptor? I don't know my dinosaurs. Who is it that really does? It's Calvin. Calvin from Calvin and Hobbes loves his dinosaurs. I wonder if Bill Watterson is still on the go. stuff for me as a kid, reading all that Calvin and Hobbes. Fortnite is better, but on PC, building is a real pain, IMO. But how can something be worse on PC? Sounds like the words of a console apologist. Right. Let's get away from here. Gotta get back to Visitor Center. Gotta use Dr. Wu's card. Uh, no, I need to be down for the Visitor Center. <laughs> Quite like the fact that he's holding onto his hat when he's jumping around here. Or is he just respectfully tipping his hat to all the dinosaurs around? Go play Apex, no building needed. Uh, Lucky was actually saying that he preferred Apex. Right, where did I need Wu's card here? Oh, I can't even remember. Um, was it past where I needed Nerdies? I don't know. But more than I don't know, I don't know how people remember these sorts of things. It's like, is the head like a filing cabinet where you can store these kinds of short-term thoughts away and just pick them out at, uh, at will? Because that, that doesn't happen for me. No way, no how. I have an old notebook in front. Yeah, well, I don't have a spare hand to be writing down my notes, sadly. Mm, if I'd opened that door before, I would have already grabbed the Bolas Snare. I think this is the way to go. Started Mong Yang. Mong Yang into Dali. I got bullied so hard. We have our night vision goggles. 
Ooh, too shabby. Hang on, this feels a bit familiar. Haven't I already been here? I have. Curses. Where do I need woo? Where do I need woo? Was it you? Oh, it all looks the same everywhere you go. I have the old notes my siblings and I scribbled during a week-long binge of this game on vacation. Are these scribbles 30 years old? I'll be quite 30, but 25 maybe. Um, I'm unsure if I'm progressing or backtracking, but I'll still take a look at this console. Can we actually do some ship calling? No. Could we actually do some mainland calling? No. Can we do anything? Maybe some security clearance? Ah, I do. I now have level one clearance. What that does, I do not know. Would you be kind enough to also give me level two clearance? Oh, no. No, we cannot. Nor do we know where we can get it. I already have number two open. I'm keen to keep it that way because I haven't investigated there yet. I've already got my motion sensor on, right? Of course I do. Right, maybe with our newfound clearance. No. Try the other one. Also no. Okay, well, at least we have some clearance. What we get with that, I don't know. If only I had the, uh, the manual here. But it's alright, I got Voomer. I might have gotten Voomer killed, but they're still helping me from beyond the grave. I can only assume that there was nothing beyond this point for Wu's card other than getting that. Uh, security clearance. Have you streamed this before, Jake? I'm getting some serious deja vu. You might be thinking of when I streamed Doom for the Super Nintendo, but I'm quite confident that I have never streamed. Jurassic Park for the, set, uh, the SNES before. Or if I have, none of us have proof of it. Just like Vigilante 8, nobody has coughed up any proof of me streaming that. Although maybe if I were to stream it, people would come in going, Oh, you're streaming this again. But that wouldn't be proof, that would just be conjecture. It is ship comms now from a specific port uh, console on the Raptor pen. What? Are you saying that I need to go to the Raptor's pen or that I need to do something on the ship? No, you're probably saying that I need to open up ship communicator from the Raptor pen. If we can trust your age old notes. But I have little else to go on, otherwise, you're just blindly checking things out, which actually makes this kind of a terrible game. But, back in the day, we didn't know better, and we probably didn't care. Mm -hmm. Back here, this isn't right. This is anything but right. I'm now noticing in the music a bit of subtly in the background. 
Sounds like a person. Yeah, maybe you did, Jimmy. See, I can't speak for you there. I think this is the way to the exit. There we go. Alright, finally out of here. Speaking of that subject, is there any way to watch your old Space Colony stream? Um, Probably not. I mean, maybe though. If somebody really wanted to watch that, I'm sure I could upload it. I might still have a local copy. I keep a local copy of everything for one year, and then I delete it. So some streams will die forever. Specifically, or mostly trucking streams, almost everything else gets to YouTube. Over 99%. Where was that blessed gate? I think it's down a bit to the right. This gate too up and to the right. Oh, my heart says down and to the right, but... Oh, well. Never mind that. Grant's just going to go die. Ah, see, end zone. I was looking at that in my library earlier today, Calmest, when I was trying to think what to do on the wild card. But Endzone was just missing something. Articulating exactly what it was missing would be a bit tough. Oh well, I was looking for the gate, but I found the raptor den, I'll take that. Timberborn's not in the radar. I played that when it was in development and it didn't seem very good. It didn't seem to offer anything. Right, Let's find a console and get those ship comms going. Oh, well, how very convenient if this is the right one. I played Endzone a few weeks ago, it's still missing something. Can you articulate the point any better than me there, Kaidus? Any amount of articulation will be better. Oh no, no, no ship, no ship comes here. But this might not be the, this might not be the only console in the Raptor Den. No, never that easy. There's so much more backtracking to do. Score to obtain. Oh, jeez. Yeah, no, making a bunch of maps would be... Mm, there would be a lot of map making to do. Depending on the length of the game, it might be a time, a time saver. Or a time sink. There is no saving in this game, by the way. Oh! Ian Malcolm. I don't think there was any case where we needed Ian Malcolm's card, but how did I miss this? Inconceivable. Maybe I just somehow always came down past this. Endzone is just not interesting after a few hours. You play one round of it, feels like you've seen everything. Yeah, the, the exact same could be said for Banished. But with Banished, there's a level of comfort to it. When you build your settlement in Banished, it feels good. You look at it and you go, mm, oh, I feel so cozy just seeing these, uh, these wee people living their lives and their wee nice looking houses with the smoke coming out. In Endzone, it's like, yeah, my people live in, like, shacks made out of gutters and tarpaulin. There's no, there's no nice feeling to looking at it. Mmm, they can drink lovely irradiated water. And the writing is just so damn on the nose. Kind of sets the tone of it's, it's how dare you opening. Banish doesn't give you any writing, and it's all the stronger for it. Hmm. 
Never saw Banished as a particularly challenging game, but... Maybe I just don't want to admit my early failures with the game because they happened a long time ago and before I streamed. Oh, Jinx, just how far down are we going in this place? I'm looking for a comm. Half these ID cards are for people who are just visiting. They don't even work at the park. Yeah, I've just got half a dozen British Petroleum ID cards. This area feels unfamiliar. Let's follow the left hand rule here then. After all, never do anything right. Every time I say that, I do slightly entertain the thought of streaming Swords and Serpents, but the game is bad. The game is very, very bad. I might just back where I... where I came. Or is this another different elevator? Swords and Serpents is bad, says Sable, correctly, but Sable also says it's really fun, very incorrectly. I don't understand. The game is not fun. It's not even particularly impressive. Something weird is going on here. Oh! It's that crate! Oh! The raptors have stopped entering the visitor center. Because I zapped this crate. I'm racking my head to figure out the logic of that. Nothing is coming. Maybe it's because the crate is now blocking this door. I certainly can't use the door. Uh, that makes a lick of sense, I guess. But why did I not want the raptors in the visitor center? They're everywhere. We should just be nuking the island at this rate. It would be a bit scary if I could just murder everything inside all the buildings, but I think it would also be more tedious. I'm also very lost. I thought I was in the Raptor Center. This doesn't feel much like the Raptor Center. Did I... So Zoom Tube is something from Swords and Serpents, which is a first-person dungeon crawler for the Nintendo Entertainment System. It's a slow and pretty awful game. It holds a bit of nostalgia with me, for sure, but not enough for me to deny that it's a terrible game. And occasionally you will step on a square called a Zoom Tube, and a Zoom Tube will zoom you up to a previous level. Now this can very occasionally be useful, let's say you're you start on level 1 and the goal is to work your way down to level 15 to slay the something or other and win the game. But you might be on level 7 and you realise you have something that lets you progress back on level 4. So you want to 
to step on a zoom tube to take you back to somewhere. You don't choose where it goes though. But most often it's a case of you're wandering around exploring this new place. Oh, you stepped on a zoom tube and then you're back to a very early level and you have to go all the way down again. It's quite horrible. And that's that's the that's the zoom tube. No fun there. Right, so we've learned that the raptor place connects to the visitor place and having zapped a box in the way, now things can't get through. But that didn't seem to help me much. Not sure chat truly understands without you showing them, Jake. This calls for stream after all. Hmm. There was a little tickle inside me that says just close this down, fire up swords and serpents and go with that, but I'm actually a little bit invested in seeing how this game ends. It's just, I don't know how much more of the game there is. Probably a fair bit. Aside from some pretty crummy platformers, many SNES games are actually decently long. Sometimes too long. You will rage at the ending, quite possibly. Voomer, you're certain there's a comms panel somewhere in the raptor enclosure that I'm meant to hit for ship comms? I've already checked that level thoroughly. as it could well be on a wall that I do keep missing. And these inner segments got a lot less scary since I cleaned out all the... all the dino watts. Just quickly circling every room, checking all the walls and things. Oh no, Boomer's gone silent on me. Now I'm lost and blind. Oh, oh, ho, ho, ho! Beat him a blind, a blind guy punching in the dark lands a hit every now and then. Come on, ship comms. The ship autopilot has been engaged. Sailing procedure cancelled. Ship will return to dock. Or remain in dock. Right, so I'm going to assume that it's something like danger, the ship is going to take off full of all these dinosaurs and reach a populated area. Which I really can't see being a threat. At all. I mean, even if a few people die, there are lots of people. They will overcome the dinosaurs. Unless they breed like crazy. It wouldn't happen to also do the mainland comms, would you? No, of course not. Maybe... I can get myself some request clearance level two. No. Okay. Maybe I should finally go through that gate that I opened up. Maybe I'll find uh, use for that key card that I found. That was a plot of Jurassic Park 2, and you've pinpointed one of the problems with that awful movie. <laughs> okay, let, let's try and spin some positivity here. Let's name some good films, and not just good films, but good sequel films. Never mind how good the original was, but when the sequel came out, you go, wow, this is also very good, perhaps even better. Now, I don't personally have an answer to that, because I don't watch a lot of films, but I'm sure they exist. Terminator 2, Aliens 2, Toy Story 2, The Empire Strikes Back. Did I? I don't think I saw the Terminator. I rode the Terminator ride in Universal Studios, and I played Terminator on the Super Nintendo, which is again, not a good game, don't let anyone tell you otherwise. 
Blade Runner 24. Oh, Police Academy 2. Uh, wait, did I see that? No, I think I only saw the original Police Academy and it was brilliant. Just when you thought a movie couldn't do subtlety. Oh, I'm getting mauled here. I shot it from within itself. It tells me this is virgin territory here. There we go, sequels can be good. They don't have to be terrible. But I'm sure we could name many more terrible sequels. Again, this isn't something I have much of a dog in the race for. I don't watch many films. I used to watch one film per year and that was my lot, but I haven't watched a film in at least two years now. I went and saw Deadpool, that was good. I think I even saw it in the, uh, in the cinema. And I even had a free cinema ticket that I was going to use to go and watch Deadpool 2, but I didn't. What's going on in here? You, you're going on. Good, good. Nobody wants smoke grenades. Everybody wants extra lives. Otherwise, though, nothing of note in here. No comms panel. No. The textures and the walls are so busy, it's hard to tell where the comms panels are. Every Terminator after 2 is mixed, but, uh, mixed bag of bad. When Lord of the Rings came out in the cinema, they actually scheduled breaks in the middle of the screening. A poor idea. It was a big waste of everyone's time. Three hours isn't that long to sit and watch a movie for. Well, I am every shade of lost in here. I think I just need to get out and then go through that lumen gate that I opened up. Where, Where is it? <laughs> Let me out of the raptor den. It's not nearly as fun as the name implies. Ah. I think this is going to take me back out to the visitor center and that's fine with me. This could be bad. It's taking me further down. Oh, I don't think I wanted to come to sub-level 2. Well, we're down here now. We'll give it a quick gander. I was watching Eurysto stream... Zoo. Zoo, zoo, zoo. What's it called again? Zoo something or other. Game where you build up a zoo. It actually looked pretty good. Yes, this is where I wanted to be. Planet Zoo, thank you. Now, I never cared for Planet Coaster because it was too much of a sandbox. Planet Zoo looked slightly less of a sandbox. Now, a zoo full of animals doesn't quite have the same appeal as a park full of roller coasters. Did give me a wee wee tickling to want to go and check it out. Good game, very open ended, but fun. Fun. We don't use words like fun. Just when? No, I think I need to go up a bit because I'm still in a sub area here. I've been watching this low frame rate for too, too long, the real world is starting to look too smooth. Yeah, it might actually be nice to go outside for a bit after playing this. It's half three already though, it'll be getting dark soon. 
Northern Europe is about to remind me why I'm desperately trying to escape Northern Europe. How dark it is outside. It's 11 in the morning. Alright, finally out. I need to find that blessed gate that I unlocked an hour ago. Uh, I found it early. Oh, the, the mangled corpse of the, uh, the the trampling thing is still there. Nice touch, Snez. I think one of the problems is, though, I can't get back through this, can I? No, I locked it. So where was the other gate? Is there a way around all this? Maybe I can go round and down. Maybe something I missed down here. I remember playing this as a kid, could never get past the first facility, says so Silent Soft. I'm in a similar boat there. I'm doing a lot better now than I ever did as a kid. I like to think I'm a better gamer now than I was as a kid. But the thing is I had a lot more time back then. And far fewer games. It's getting weird when they overlap there. There's that R point that we still don't understand. Maybe I have to go up and around a bit. Did you have more time back then? You probably had school. These days gaming is your job. Hmm. True enough, I did have school. Hmm. Didn't have to do any chores and the like, though. Um, not so much of them. Yeah, you might be onto something there, Marvin. Oh well, not something I'm going to think overly about. Squeeze your way through there, Grant. Oh yeah, Cribbins is that thing again. The musher. Stop thinking about it. Unfortunately, one of the things about living in the arse end of nowhere is that getting to school was a very long commute. It's actually the longest commute I've ever had. One hour, more than an hour to get to school and more than an hour to get back. It was some kind of cursed joke that on the, uh, the rural school bus, I was the first one on and the last one off. Why? Why? Why remove so much of my day like that? Well, that's what I, That's the reason I'll come up with right now for why I do what I do. Reclaiming all that lost time. I don't think there's another way down or around here. I was hoping I could bypass all this by climbing over the rocks, but it just goes up to the top. I don't think it comes back down and up. Well... Can we be sure about that until we've exhausted all possibilities? Does Scotland have radio school for remote areas? Radio school? If it does, I've never heard of it. the ship of dinosaurs and and what else Run. access terminal to stop I, I've already done that Robert Muldoon get with the times Anybody doing homeschool sounds sounds like a weird thing for weirdos. Nah, doesn't sound right. Okay, we've already done the ship. Hopefully, the ship doesn't unlock anything else we need. 
dang, I came all this way and I'm getting a fat lot of diddly for it. There's still this R point that I don't understand. It's not something I can pick up. Or... Oh, there's an egg over there. If only I could squeeze through these rocks here, but I cannot. Went through a year of homeschooling and distant education. Can confirm it was weird, says Whoops. So we've done the ship com. It's, it's still that gate. I need to go through the gate. I've had something of a thought. Maybe I need to keep gate 1 open, go through gate 1, go to the nuclear facility in the south, and then unlock gate 2 from there, because maybe you can only get gate 2 from the south. But maybe the gate was in the north? I can't remember. I kind of wish I'd taken a closer look at the map when I had it. But now I don't have it. things. Wait, isn't this the way I came? Oh no. Managed to get lost even here. <laughs> Good luck lying to your parents about homework while homeschooling. It's awful with my homework. And turning up to school. But hey, you have a commute like that, you try turning up to school. Wait, no, there's a good chance Mum will be watching this. She knows this game. I was a model student, always at school, always on time, and always did my homework. There we go. I should have never told my friends and family that I stream. I had one of my buddies tell me, oh yeah, yeah, I sometimes tune into your stream just to relax and listen to your voice. Makes me feel good. I'm like, please don't tell me that. That is not something I want to think of when I think, hear, or see you. The internal cringing is still happening from it. I need some way up and around this water over to the right. That egg has got my name on it. Jake, you play video games for a living. I doubt your history of skipping school surprises anyone. It was just a vocational education for me. And a good one at that. Right, we, we've already activated this and gone up and around. But where's that bleeding egg? Jake, would you prefer your friends and loved ones hate your voice and want to never hear you speak another word? I just rather they didn't tell me one way or the other. Oh, I found it! This is the one I opened up! Yes! Progress at long last. Uh oh. oh. Got snagged on the corner there and didn't make it through. Before, well, whilst I let this ch Oh, no, 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 no! So he's talking about those blind corners there. Fortunately, it seemed more interested in not killing me. And go, Grant, go! Rocket launcher at the ready. I don't like this. Especially not with that music playing. This is not a fun and happy place to be, is it? Not with uh, quarter health, that's for sure. Grant. Yeah, I've already cleared the ship, man. Ooh. <laughs> okay. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, that was, that was just a fat lot of no good.
very threatening sounding area here. The make of it all. Aha! Another one down, five more to go. Steaming our way through. I have cleared the ship. Still, oh, that doesn't look friendly. Let's keep our distance for a short while. He's telling me over there is yeah, that's the raptor den. Already come up and around. I didn't quite get the egg that I was after, though. Ah, well, let's check it out while we're here. I don't think Childhood Jake ever saw this part. Oh no, definitely not. These raptors are getting advanced. Looks like they've dug themselves out some kind of dungeon here. They've even etched in this mark, proclaiming it to be their own Jurassic Park. Yeah, despite the lack of color palette here, I think the frame rate is even lower. Even the frame rate is Jurassic here in their Raptor's Den. The walkthrough I'm following says there are zillions of raptors here. Good luck, frame rate. Well, as I kill more of them, I should be able to reclaim control over my frame rate. Shame the Super Nintendo didn't have a built in frame rate counter. Be good to see that up on screen now. Anybody care to count? I'd make a generous estimate at 8 frames per second right now. But I have a good eye for these sorts of things. No, no, it's definitely more than 4. You're being facetious there. Wait, what do we have here? What are, are these eggs? Sapphires? Are sapphires the blue ones? No, aquamarines are the blue ones. It must be their eggs. Of course they lay eggs or chickens. I don't know what I'm doing here though. I just, just came into the suicidal raptor den. It's thankfully well lit. I mean, good, good call on the raptors installing these lights so that I can see my way around here. Sapphires are also blue. Excellent. I wonder if the PC version had more different dinosaur types, especially in the first person segment, because all we have fought are the spitty ones and the regular ones here. Keep your nerve, shoot them till they die, and you're okay. Well, what's keeping me okay is my gorillions of rockets. I wasn't aware that it stacked up higher than what it visibly shows, but although it only shows four, I feel like I'm on 400. Dino Crisis. Did Dino Crisis get a remaster? I enjoyed Dino Crisis. Shame I lost and didn't finish the game. It's one of the things I kick myself about most in streaming. I should never have dropped Dino Crisis right at the end. I should have finished it. I just felt really bummed that day. Scuppered. Okay, so we have a slight problem. All the walls look the same. And given the layout of this place, I don't even think following the left-hand rule is going to help me. I could try, though. I'll give it a go. Exhaust my options before I give in to despair. It's very easy to miss an opening to the side in these kinds of places. What can I say? My scuba gear is obscuring my vision. So, from the people in chat who haven't played this game before, do you think it's a good game? Again, I don't have a dog in this race, so it's. It, you're not going to spare or care about my feelings with whatever you say. 
but I'm a little torn. I obviously have too much nostalgia on my side to make a fair call on this. So I need something a bit more impartial. Not really, says Pizza. Not really, says Power. It looks decent enough for 1993, says El Coro. I'm agreeing with you there, but that feels like nostalgia agreement. It, it is pretty rough. Maybe this is the wrong segment to ask it on. Oh, 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 well, left hand rule took me somewhere I've been. I think if you own a bunch of SNES games, this would be a fine ad uh, addition to your collection. They're behind me, aren't they? No, they're not. But they might be. Let's abandon our left hand rule temporarily to check over here. I regret it already. Mental vision of what I have come away from fading. Fading. And gone. No, stay strong, Jake. Backtrack it. Nah, there's clearly new stuff here. Getting about the zillions of raptors here, though. I'm definitely not going to play the PC version of this. I'll go and find someone else's playthrough of it. Hopefully, a concise run of it, although not a speed run. Speedruns can be impressive to watch, but I'm really sick of seeing speedruns that just cut out half the game. And half there is an understatement. I want to see something well executed, not glitched away out of. Hey, excuse me, that... Was that really where I came in from? Huh, I guess so. These raptors are really advanced, they can even build doors. And make them appear behind me. Let's try and snake our way back to where we were though. This feels about right, but I think, yeah, there we go. Yeah, thank God for glitchless categories. The only thing helping me know that I'm going in potentially the right direction is the trail of these raptors. Otherwise, I would have no clue that this is untreaded ground or not. Oh, this is a different exit. Where are we now then? Yeah. Oh, is this the egg? That is the egg that I was looking for. Sweet. Four more to go. Where they are is anybody's guess. Particularly your guess, because I don't know. There we go. On Grant Boy, you're almost dead. a trap? This is a trap, isn't it? Is this where I got eaten? It is where I got eaten. Bye-bye, bye-bye, bye-bye. Oh, goodbye, alright. Is there a way to not have him eat you? Also, that means this place was accessible long ago. Which means I haven't accomplished anything by going through the raptor maze. That's not what I wanted to, to hear, even from myself. I got the egg, but I could have gotten that egg at any point earlier on. Which tells me what I really need to do is open up gate 3. 
Yeah, I'll believe that. Which means I also need to find gate 3 again. Can't remember where it was. <laughs> you built up rapport and the rapper is dead. Oh, no, 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 let's not do this again. Both the T-Rex areas had red ammo. No, it's just the one area. And I don't think I can shoot it to I mean, maybe. We can give it a go. Why not? I don't think he gave a hoot about how much I shot him there. cares about the shotgun shells. Give me back my rockets. How did I even get here again? Where was that? Where was that gate? Okay. In a way, I have to finish this game, or else it's going to hang over me for the rest of my life. Just like Mr. Maze. It bothers me, though. Opening this gate achieved nothing. Nothing at all. I could have just gone down and around anyway. Yeah, you can't save in this game, Angevin. You cannot save. Best idea I have is to go back, unlock gate 1 again, go through gate 1, go to nuclear area, and in nuclear area unlock gate 3, wherever gate 3 is, but I think it's down south. You got a few eggs from behind the gate? Yes, but those are eggs I could have gotten anyway. I was able to get around the gate earlier, even without the gate open. So I think that opening that gate was a wild goose chase. Instead. Oh my god, where was the, the comms portal on here, though? I don't know. I certainly don't remember. I bet it was upstairs, though. It feels like an upstairs -y kind of thing. People say games aren't art, then Mr. Maze exists. I'm glad Mr. Maze is behind me. And I hope for a long, long development cycle for Mr. Maze 2. So that one, I don't have to see it for a long time, and two, hey, it might even end up being good. There were hints of genius inside Mr. Ma, that's not the right way. There are two T-Rex areas though. N no, there is one. Oh, maybe there are two. Possible. myself down some quick notes so that I could find these things, but nope, and I'm too deep in to start now. Aha, there we go. So now we need to open gate one, park controls, gate operation, open gate one. Hold on, maybe three was the one that was open normally. Jinx, I just don't know. Where am I? Where am I in relation to all of this? This was two, and from that gate we kind of went over here, didn't we? Which means three is here. Yeah, well, 
I said I wanted to go down, although I'm not so sure about that anymore. Open three and check inventory. Sure thing. Yeah, this is no weekly one shot. I am not above checking out chat help here. Uh, is it user options for inventory? It isn't. So we got Hammond, Grant, Nerdy, Wu, and Malcolm. I have not used Malcolm's card because I don't know where I need it. But where I can go with this, I don't know. But at least I can go through gate three now. Also, I should try the other communications. Mainland comms? No. No, we cannot. All right, let's step on it then. Head down south for a change. We don't go down south often. Jurassic Park not having a hospital is a major oversight. Kind of think of it, even in Operation Genesis, I don't think it built up hospitals for the people. Wouldn't want to give people the impression that it's a dangerous place now, would we? Man, Operation Genesis was brilliant. It's one of those games that uh, struggles to run on modern systems, sadly. God, I'm lost again. No, I think I know what I'm doing. Restaurant is connected to the kitchen. That's a fridge, Jay. Uh, mm, here we go. Exit. Now, south. We haven't been there in a while. Ah, yeah, of course, here's the gate, the gate that we started from. It still doesn't feel right, though. I feel like I wanted to open up gate one and head up to the top left. Because I can't think of anything that we have unlocked, uh, like unlocked around here to do. But I could well be wrong, so it's worth a bit of investigation. I'm not sure that you want to hear this, Jake, but Love Grove has Treasure Island scheduled for late 2021. And its visuals remind me an awful lot of... It's not called Mr. Maze 2 or Mr. Maze the Second Coming. Then I'm not going to feel obligated to give it a go. I don't think I've accomplished anything by coming down here. I think I needed to hit up the northwest, not the south. Boomer, you're the one that instructed me to head this way. I'm going to need some... Oh, crikey. I'm going to need some justification for not immediately heading northwest. I already came up here for the egg. What is that building over there? Yeah, I'm 90% sure I... Whoa, now! Came here for the egg already. Yep. And there's no other way down? We need another ID from the Beach Utility Building. Oh, Crivens, which one was that? The Beach Utility Building. It wasn't the boat. It wasn't the visitor center. It wasn't the nuclear center. It wasn't the raptor cave. Air the other one, not the beach one. Ah yes, the other one. Ooh, there's that R. I mean, there's this building. The, um... The nuclear utility shed. Well, they both have the word utility in it, so we'll give it a go. Maybe that Malcolm card that I picked up earlier is going to help me out here. Yep, 
you know, I think what's getting me here is actually the frame rate is variable. So sometimes you move quite a bit faster than these segments than other times. All right, let's give it a go, see if we can't communicate with the mainland from... No, we can't. Could I perhaps get um, a better fractal? Yeah, give me, give me the flow. And also, I would like security access level two, please. Of course not. The Nublar Utility Shed, Jake Island, Nubar, I think Jurassic Park Island for the... Why? What are you talking about? <laughs> Shiverish. Shiverish is what you're talking about. Fortunately, we have night vision, so this does not scare us. But we've also murdered all of the dinosaurs here, so there's little left to scare us. Streaming was the thing back in 1993. Imagine everybody getting together going, wow, look at these graphics. This is amazing how they do first person on Super Nintendo. Are you sure that's not the PC version you're playing? Then again, imagine the latency. Imagine the quality that you'd be getting a stream on. There's only so much disbelief I can suspend. Well, that was the sign of dinosaur, telling me that I have not cleaned this area out. So there is perhaps progress to be had. Instead of pre-stream ads, you get dial- oh my goodness, dialing tones. I actually went on- oh, you sneaky bugger. We got Donald Genardo's ID card. I must have missed this. Yeah, must have. All these dinosaurs tell me this is a location that I passed by before. How could I not have noticed this specific door to go through? So conspicuous. Right, where was Gennardo needed? We did come across a door that needed a Gennardo, but I can't even remember. Now we have to go to the beach utility building. Which one's the beach utility? This is the nuclear utility. Not really, which one is the beach utility? At least a cardinal direction would help me. West. I don't think we've been there yet. I don't recall a beach utility building. Yeah, so I went and I listened to a recording of dial-up tone, and it's not the dial-up tone I remember. Was it different in the UK from other places? Now I'm very slowly working on it next. Dial-up tone differs depending on the ISP. Ah, I don't think America has many ISPs, do they? Aren't they just all owned by two of them? So maybe there's not a lot of variance. Okay, now I think I need to go up northwest and open up gate one. That'll get me to the coveted beach utility building. Give those danger pads one thing, they do keep the raptors at bay. Right, up we go. Oh, the gate is finally closing. One rocket opens the whole thing. Unfortunately, Mr. Grant doesn't have the wherewithal to just keep it held open with something. Anything right. even. I have cleared the ship of dinosaurs, friend. Okay. There's visitor center, here's west of the visitor center. Oh, 
Oh yeah, Marvin, that, that's what it was all about. Go to some uh, download heavy website, load everything, and then just keep it cached and read it later. Because although it would slowly load, it would still load slightly faster than I could read. Good times. Which were actually bad times, we just didn't know any better. Going around in circles here. regret picking that up. It was a good landmark. Came here for the egg once. Yeah, but I'm really here for the music. That's so good. Lasers, am I? And am I going? Dear, well, not under that, I hope. Just trample my way towards the beach utility building for me, please. You know what I miss? Early internet cafes before ubiquitous internet. Yeah, well. We've all spent that uh, rough night needing a place to stay and ending up in an internet cafe all night instead. This looks like a beachy place to me. Yeah, yeah. Progress. Now I know why this felt like the nuclear facility. It looks the same. Okay, let's go and sniff out something here using Dr. Gennardo's card. Can't be sure it's not on this floor yet, though. Yes, Snowden, another, I think 10 FPS is a bit much. I think you can count the FPS best when we're turning. 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 7, 8, 9, yeah, maybe, maybe 10, maybe 10. Again, I don't have a good eye for this. And it is variable, like, it, it definitely sl look at that, that is easily count the frames right there. And that could well be 5 FPS, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Rough stuff. I'm just back at the exit. Right, let's take the elevator down. <laughs> Didn't you know the human eye can't see more than 5 FPS? Anything above that is wasted. These guys imply that I have not been down here before. Why would that be? There's a slight chance, I suppose, that I just um, tranquilize them, but you know, I'm, I'm more of a kill and keep moving sort of guy, not tranquilize and keep moving. And I'm fairly certain the indoor ones don't respawn. Kill the game to give me some acknowledgement to when I'm using an ID card, though. Help me understand when I'm making progress. Oh, I don't have my night vision goggles here. Curses. Well, back down we go.
you need to watch the movie, find out how they go. I don't think I'll be watching the Jurassic Park movie anytime soon. I do remember a scene though where raptors are digging under a door and the humans try to dig their way out as well in a desperate scurry. I didn't know Jake gets so lost in real life he has to sleep in internet cafes instead of hotels. Oh, well that's that's just what the doctor ordered right there. The night vision goggle battery activation pack. Which was the only thing we needed to go and enter that other door that got us killed. There's our ID card. Now we got Ray Arnold. I think we needed him... Okay, I'm not even going to pretend to remember where I needed Ray Arnold. Maybe it was... Christ, I have no idea. I just go back to rubbing my face on every wall there is. Ship time. Ship. That would be my last guess. But they were still moaning at me to clear out the ship. Ah, Scotland has some nice hotels. I remember cutting a great deal staying at the Banff Springs Hotel. Good times. Okay, whilst I'm here, I should take the advantage to try and check out for any... Oh, okay, so this is the other big nasty place. I wonder if he's hiding something behind him. There doesn't appear to be a way to get past him. He just comes and nibbles you down. But maybe he's blocking an egg. There's two Fs in Banff there. But yes, there's the Banff Springs. Nothing like a hot springs, though. Oh! <laughs> Should have seen it coming. However, that is a fast warp back to... Oh, just here. Damn, thought it would take me back to the start start. Now let's just stay tooled up. Couldn't help but notice I respawned with two lives instead of- Oh, jeez no. Two lives instead of three. Maybe you have limited continues. Oh, that makes dangerous amount of sense. We are now three quarters of the way through the notes. The structure of the notes is breaking down. My sister is doodling more than helping. And we grow increasingly desperate. Banff Springs is also a famous resort in the Canadian Rockwell. Where do you think you got your name? You certainly didn't come up with it on your own. Keep thinking the tra- yep! Okay, there we go. Trample can be so strong. But not as strong as consume. Man, those gelatinous cubes, the AI looks like they spam them all too much, but... It is the most effective anti-Wraith Lord thing I've ever seen. In Dominion's fire, of course. Oh, good grief, wasn't where my health was that bad. And now I can't remember where I was. Oh, well, all the way back here. Sure suck to game over in this. I sure as heck am starting it all over again. Well, the poles are where you will respawn if you touch them. Wouldn't exactly call them save points. What exactly are they saving? Oh, my God. 
Careful now there, Jorlam. You gotta let the Canadians have something. Even if they just think they're having it. Run. Right, onwards to the boat. Can we remember how to get to the boat? I think it was in the southeast. That doesn't answer the question of how to get to it. I think you have to traverse the rocky thing. Yes, the rocky thing. <laughs> I love the fact that the corpse has permanence there. Right, let's go in and out of here to at least remember where we are. Jake, any near-term plans to return to Paradox Games? Uh, Victoria 3 is about the only thing on my horizon there. I have played EU4 to death. I can't imagine a single thing that they could uh, they could do to bring me back to EU4. CK3 is starved of content, and it's been so long starved that even if it got something now, I'm not sure I'd be uh, inclined to go back to it. Stellaris and me never hit it off. It's got a lot of problems that we were talking about not too long ago. And what does that leave us with? Hearts of Iron. Ah, that, that's actually an interesting one. I like Hearts of Iron. I think it's pretty great. I've had a lot of fun playing it. And then there's Peace Conferences. God, I hate Peace Conferences. I could solve all that by just using player-led peace conferences. Very simple mod to put in to make a lot less of a ball ache. Notice that that's not a no. Unlike the other things, that's not a no. I have not come to... Oh, Christ, that one gets me every time. I've not come to a solution on my Hearts of Iron problem. Maybe give Imperator another chance? Ha, <laughs> no. Imperator is the embodiment of all of Paradox's hubris. I don't think I could... Uh... Didn't I stream that for a very short bit? There were elements of uh, Imperator that I found enjoyable, but all those elements were done better in CK3. Okay, now that we have What's-His-Face's ID card, we can find the place to rub it up against in here. Where it is, I don't know. Hopefully there's a chicken drumstick along the way. Ooh. Had bad memories of Bernard Matthews' chicken drumsticks there. Shouldn't have even said the word. Nasty, vile stuff. It's a shame the Imperator thing. I was really hyped for that game. Yeah. Yeah, you weren't the only one. I don't enjoy Prison Architect. I played that game. Not on stream, mind. I don't stream every game I play. But I do play every game I stream. Imperator was mercilessly thrown out of the airlock to help the CK3 team, but CK3 doesn't release Jack, so what are these people doing? Playing solitaire? Building IKEA furniture? I don't get it. Um, I don't think it's anything uh, agreement-breaking to say that I agree with you there, TBW. I have no idea what's going on. I don't have the in inside insights to Paradox to know what's going on, but looking at it from the outside, it is not the Paradox I left. Paradox I left would have an assembly line production, cranking out everything they could for uh, for their most... Uh, There's a P word I'm looking for. Well, let's go with successful instead. Successful titles. 
and they're not doing it. Why? What is happening? What's going on in there? I've played Surviving Mars before. I don't like it. I don't think it's very good. Yeah, go figure. That's cancelled out. I doubt there's anything I can actually do, but since I have the chance to do it, I want to see if I can get Park Security Level 2 clearance. No? Okay, well, never mind that then. Prestigious? Premier? No. I'll go with successful, though. Says what I want to say. Profitable! Profitable works. It is a company, after all. They go for the money. <laughs> you think I would have lasted longer, Snowden? How long was, uh, what's her face the CEO for? Can't remember. Got along fine with her, but I also didn't have much in the way of dealings with her. Hope she's not watching this, she'd be very offended at me calling her what's her face. It's a Swedish name, you can't expect me to remember Swedish names. Ebba, thank you. Right, this must be the way forward, because I killed everything here in the ship. Ah, we do actually have to clear them out. There are nine dinos left. Come on. Three people armed with light ballistics could take this one. This isn't Goblin Slayer. And I'm rocking my personal rocket launcher and snare cannon. Is Anno great? Is Anno really great? Anno is Grid Simulator. I've seen what have been called very accomplished and uh, impressive Anno cities, and all I see is horrible gridding. Like everything is just done to a formula. And let's not forget, I beat Anno 1800. Despite what anybody wants to call it, I did beat that. I was playing it wrong. Some, some Germanics in the community got rather heated up about that. It even drew in the French. I think it was Docteur who had the biggest issue, Dr. Mensonge, with the way I handled uh, Anno 1800. Apparently building the largest and most impressive navy, so much so that it lags the game like crazy, to destroy all my competition, was not playing it correctly. I'm obviously being facetious here, right, that um, you kind of destroy the game that way. But I was in it to win it, because I didn't actually think the game was very good otherwise. I still wasn't very good with that either. He played Anno so wrong he created the European Union. <laughs> okay, I'm, I'm getting lost here because just like everywhere, all the walls look the same. I don't even know where I came in from here. What exactly happened in that run? I mean, I, I started up a game of Anno, I had those three competitors, I played it for a while, I built up my my island, or islands. I forget how many, how many were involved in that. And uh, once I had sufficient resources and funds and all that, I built up my warships and I killed everybody. Oh, so this is what we need security level for. And the game did not handle that well. Um, I don't know if it was poorly optimized or just not made for that, which would still be poorly optimized. But the the game chugged hard when I sent out my war, uh, my warships. To be sure, I'm sure the best Caesar city. Oh, oh no, no, Luke Corn. I have built best Caesar cities, and they are 
magnificent. I sincerely doubt it, but does anybody have my Londinium full map handy? Uh, that shows you what a beautiful and brilliant Caesar 3 map is like. Right, right, right. Anno 1800 is incredibly hardware hungry. It still gets used for bench testing. I'm really phenomenal. Right, can I actually get some security clearance? I do not want to further backtrack, please. Yeah. All right, let's get down there. While we're at it. I don't think any of this is going to help me. Can I communicate with the mainland yet? Nope. Not allowed on this to console, and we won't tell you which console it is allowed on. Thanks, game. Open gate one. Well, that's some good advice there, Boomer. Cheers. Are you sure I can get to gate one from here? Yeah, doubtless. I didn't go through gate three to get here. Message ends indeed. Right, where where is that uh where is that city of mine? Where would I even have saved that? Ah oh, crumbs. I'm sure I have a directory purely for Caesar three cities that I've created. Oh, I've got, I've got a massive folder called Londinium. Oh man, is this even going to show up on stream? It's probably going to be way too big. Eh, we can maybe live with that. Oh, well, that's a bad sign. Hold that thought. I mean, this is, this is going to my head, surely, but I need to show you what a beautiful and functional Caesar 3 city looks like. This, this file is too big. What am I thinking? Is that gonna work? Damn right that works. Ah, my Londinium. Except, you can't really see it very well that way, can you? So let's... Oh, yeah. I, I should... I should avoid looking at that too much. It's going to make me want to play Caesar 3 again. Which I am certain there are certain agitators that want. But I played a lot of Caesar 3. Okay. I have clearance. I have the gate opened. I still can't calm the mainland. There was a... It was an elevator. Glad I remembered that before I got out of here. Where's the elevator? Tell you what, Dark Young, maybe if somebody can build a threateningly good city, that might make me think, oh god, I might not be the, the most beautiful Caesar 3 map maker anymore. I'll have to jump into action. Of course that's not going to happen. Massilia Stronghold? Massilia hmm. Stronghold has slums and things in it. By choice, of course. And it is huge. Oh, hang on, this gives me multiple options to go even deeper. Oh, no. Might be on this ship for. Oh, I understand now. We couldn't just sink the ship and drown the dinos. You have to have Mr. Grant risk his bacon, clearing it out the old-fashioned way. Just scuttle the cursed ship. Pizza doesn't threaten me with DDR. Pizza is straight up better than me at DDR. DDR, much like Caesar, comes and goes for me in streaming. Yeah, yeah, Panda actually messaged me saying, here's, here's a new map.
Okay, that was somebody's card, but I didn't catch whose. That's a problem. And I'm not sure if I've come across anywhere that I haven't been able to open yet. Wait, there's a bed here? I wonder, is that bed the same? Yeah, right. It's doing that Draken thing. There's only one sprite for the bed. So it looks the same no matter which angle you look at it. Funny how all games just end up going back to Draken. Draken is the one absolute when it comes to video games. It was Ellie's card. Cheers. Are you coming along on that dance mat of your own there, young? One third of the way. Go to Dark Young's GoFundMe page and help him get a dance mat of his own. strange that they added this hunt and destroy all the dinosaurs at this stage in the game. We've been through and hunted probably over a hundred dinosaurs by now, and now it asks you to take out about 20 of them? Continue to all just look the same. <laughs> Can't exactly use the bed as a waypoint. The bed is the one following me. Sounds they're going to be dreaming in 5 FPS. Oh, you could clear that by playing a lot of Tetris, and you get the Tetris dreams instead. Right, there were still four or so of those nasties to take out here. But where? Oh, well. There's one straight away. Ah, two left standing. And if there was one there, there won't be one here. Dang. The walls feel strange when I move around like this. Almost as. Yeah, whatever. Getting sidetracked there. I still think it looks strange though. What if the bed is actually a dino? Well, they both got four legs. Oh no, if anybody's arriving just now, this is not what the whole game looks like. This is only about a third of the game. The rest of it's a top-down shooter. With significantly better frames per second than this. Assuming that more equals better, which it does. But the human eye cannot perceive more than 5 FPS. We had that joke before, but if you're joining right now, you didn't have it there. There you are! Still one remains, but even in the dark we can operate this terminal and maybe communicate with the mainland. Oh, it doesn't say access denied. 
on this terminal. It just says access denied. <clears throat> Why would it say access denied? There must be something I can do to make that terminal play better with me. Yeah, maybe the uh, maybe the dinosaurs are hacking the comms and we need them all dead. Oh, I gotta. Oh, crikey! I need to remember that that's where that is. Somehow, it's next to a bed at the end of a corridor that leads to another corridor full of offshoot corridors with more beds in them. Around, is it? Cut out the graph paper. I use graph paper for maps in Swords and Serpents. I don't want to do it again. Some hardcore people make their own maps for Etrurian Odyssey. Cool game. I don't recommend it. I've been meaning to play a game that looks kind of similar-ish to it, in art style at least. It probably plays a bit more like Darkest Dungeon called, I think, Mistiver? Guy, okay, I was even given it as a present and I haven't fired it up yet. I've got it installed on my own little Steam shortlist of games to play and I still haven't fired it up. It can be difficult. I feel like an ant on a mountain of sugar when it comes to games. Okay, this is like playing Space Invaders, We're trying to shoot down that last ship. Except in this case, the ship is invisible. Where is the last dinosaur? <laughs> Mr. Maze, the sequel is now in effect. Left hand rule is now in effect. Let's comb the left hand. Once I do this, I can go one floor down. Go and kill more dinosaurs, I can only assume. Nothing else here. You know, TBW, I had managed to forget entirely about the laser deer from Mr. Maze as part of my super ability to forget just about anything whether I want to or not and you've gone and ruined that by reminding us all that there was that laser deer nobody needed to remember that what a horrible gaming experience Mr. Maze was and that punishment lobby was entirely powered by Heldon he couldn't beat me in Pokemon, so he went the meta route. Okay, what am I missing here? There is one dinosaur left around here. Left hand rule is disengaged. It's got to be out here somewhere. This is where the dot. No, oh, I thought this is where the comms panel was. Here's where it is. This is one of the least explored places. Maybe there's some kind of offshoot that I didn't do here. It's just the bed again. Oh, why is a top five PUBG? I didn't make top five. And heaven help us, I never will. times that is.
There you are. Good grief, how many times did I pass this little bit by? Okay, now I should double check that comms console just in case that dinosaur was actually a jamming device in disguise. Of course, that also means remembering where that thing was. It was in one of these offshoot rooms, I think. I think it was just a bed in disguise. It thought I had buggered off, so it went back to raptor form. But no, I was always there. Okay, this is starting to get exceptionally painful to play. And there's probably another level of this to go below us. Where was that room with the PC? It was in an offshoot of a bedroom. This is a bedroom. And so is this. No, no, nobody wants the gas grenades. Sounds a lot more fun than they are. You need two shots of them just to incapacitate a dino and they will come back. Ah, see, it's different, Ninja. I have nostalgia for this game. And nostalgia is one hell of a painkiller. Okay, let's see. Was the raptor a jammer? Comms. Mainland comms. Oh, no. Still, we're fairly calm. Oh, no, that means I need to find this place again. Okay, right, we need some sort of landmark. Sure, it's the darkened place next to a couple of bedrooms. And those couple of bedrooms are an offshot of the end of a corridor. But only. I'm not going to remember any of this. Doesn't matter then. L shaped corridor. Maybe I can. Maybe I can squeeze that into my brain. They're all L shaped. Let's go deeper underground. Thankfully this is the extreme bottom of the ship and there are how many dinos? 25! The bigger the number, the more fun we have. That's what Bill Watterson said once. Through Calvin. Calvin was being sarcastic or facetious or some sort of disingenuous. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, j wow! I'm not sure I've actually died on the inside of a place before. My health got mulched there. And I'm on my last life, so let's not treat this so... flippantly. Where were... where was the elevator? You know, I'm also feeling the golden eye OST in the music here. Oh, Pokemon was ended by Gianavi Shen. We even had him beaten, and then Worm decided that he would rather be paralyzed than make his shot. And that was the end of that. Okay, have at. It's not alerting me to the number of dino friends here anymore, but maybe it will when I kill one. Such as this one. So this one? Huh? 
What is going on? Ah, no, the, the elevator I need is this one, and it goes down twice. Twice? Twice. Protozomac, I had no idea Porygon was so useless, but useless you certainly were. Maybe it's something like, uh, you get better when you evolve, but your evolutions are not in the 151. So you were surplus to requirements. Ooh. Oh, you cheeky buggers, they can shoot through the doors. Ooh. Okay, let's be a little careful here. Relatively speaking, the gloves are off. Right, maybe I just need to race on in. But not with those guys running around out there. No, I need I need another entry point. That one's too dangerous. So is that one that's behind me. Two for the price of one. Ignoring all those shots I did that landed on the door. Good enough. I suspect this is much more threatening on the PC version. I'm going to have to go and find a, uh, a playthrough of it and watch that. See what the differences are, especially in frame rate. All these crates, but I can't interact with them. How can this be? You think this might be a unique version for the SNES? I'm. This was developed by Ocean. Ocean also developed Doom for the Super Nintendo. Doom for the SNES cut a whole lot out. I can only assume that the same has happened here. For one, I like to think there are slightly more textures and sprites and frames on the PC version. I'm all alone in the fresh box, Jake. At least catch another mon. I don't want to die alone like in real life. Well, yeah, one thought I had was uploading the save and putting out the challenge. Like, if anybody can continue this game with only the Pokémon left and still win, I'd really like to see that, but that's a lot to ask of anyone. The Pokemon we have left are god-awful. Every single useful Pokemon, well, from my perspective, we have sent to their death. Good Alan, the ship is free of dinos. Okay, great. What's my reward? Is it more dinos? Ellie's ID card, right? Where did we need Ellie? It's intimidating stepping off of the elevator to pitch black. Ah, I'm glad I left myself that chicken though. <laughs> yeah! 
<laughs> Spam would love to take the challenge just so we could see his piles of laundry and bottles of piss on the floor again. He loves to show it off. I don't know how or why. It amuses me greatly, though. I love watching Spam stream. He's so full of energy for it. I mean, I don't trust him, but at least when I watch him streaming, there's no element of trust involved. His stream of Nancy Drew was pretty great. It was a different kind of great from most other people's uh, streams, though. Most other people's streams, it was laughing at their ineptitude. But with Spam, you know, it was just... There was very little downtime. He didn't get stuck much. He really did embody kill and keep moving for Nancy Drew. But he was he was just drinking more and more and just the state of his home. My god. I don't know how people can live like that. Yeah, I, I pity everyone who missed out in the Nancy Drew marathon. Watching it was great, but taking part in it was absolutely wonderful. Wikipedia seems to side with you over me, Jake. Says Ocean did SNES Amiga and PC versions, but I've not heard a peep about the PC version until now. I suspect they might have adapted the SNES version to PC Amiga. Really? Well, I'm not going to be playing the PC version, no way, no how. Find some other chump to do that and watch them. Okay. And no, we don't want a Pokemon. Plenty of Pokemon fanatics here already, and that's fine. Let's just not empower them. Oh, Krivens, what if? What if we can use that um, that terminal now that the raptors are cleared? Oh, there's no indication of that, but it'll haunt me if I don't check it right now. I already hate this. Rocket launcher ammunition always there. Never settle for anything other than rockets and snares. Everything else is just poor show. Jealous of all the people that can be looking at the PC version. I want to check it out myself now, but I got a job to do. Although the job is already done, I've cleared this boat, but maybe, just maybe, the other Raptors were the jammers. And I need to check that console. Where the heck? Am I? Here we go. This is right. Go here, go here, and go down one. By the way, to all the people that keep submitting their favourite god-awful game from the 1990s or so to be a, a long play or whatnot, those games look to me how this game looks to you right now. It is simply your nostalgia holding it up. And whilst there are exceptions to that, you are not the exception. Happens so often I look into something from the long playlist or thereabouts and I check it. Oh, it's a it's a Germanic looking strategy game from 1998. Nope. Control W, close tab. I've seen everything I need to see. That's why I put my games on the punishment list, says Jordan. <laughs> I can't believe I'm 
been here for 3 hours 51. Gonna miss the Rift Breaker sale at this rate. Well, I guess that means there's money on the line for beating this, although that only matters if Rift Breaker wins the vote. It might not. In fact, it's more reasonable to assume that it won't. It's like the walls are changing and the layout keeps shifting here. You've still got over two hours to go. Yeah, I don't know if that's enough to beat this horrible game, though. Well, I guess it's not that horrible. It's just it's becoming more horrible the more time I spend here in the ship. Has got to be the worst area so far. It's even worse than the Raptor home. A vote intermission, Spangler. Why? Wow, it's amazing. I hadn't even thought of that. I'm not even joking. I didn't. I just assumed that this would be over and then we'd vote. Jake, you've never been here. There's no nostalgia for this part. Ah, very clever. Well, I find that unlikely. It's very, very likely that I've been on the boat before. But I don't think I've been down into the boat's underbelly before. I certainly don't remember any amount of... Oh, this looks like it. It's got the bed. Ah, oh, it's, it's got the other bed as well, though. Curses. Aha, here we go. Now, this will all be for naught if uh, if this doesn't open up comms. Ah. No idea. This is definitely the, the comms bit though. Everywhere else it says disabled on this panel, here it just says it's disabled, so there must be a way to enable it. Okay, now we have to feel our way back out of here. Um, I am looking forward to being out of this boat. To the boat's credits, most spacious boat I've... Mm. No, I rode, a, I rode a cruise ferry over to the Isle of Mull before that was pretty big. Spacious, even had its own arcade. I beat Silent Scope 2 on that... Uh, on that... Ferry, and I met the cast from Balamori. What's the story in Balamori? Wouldn't you like to ken? And I don't know how the rest of the song goes, but that'll be a childhood blast for at least two people. <laughs> this is the pits. This is. Let's get out of here. Somehow. No, just another bedroom. Six hundred points and I will make sure that PUBG destroyed the LP vote. PUBG won't be on the LP vote. Played it yesterday and thank goodness I did because it was good to realise that it would be a poor choice. Here we go. finally be done with this accursed ship. I just need to navigate my way to one more lift to get out of here. Except I'm 90% sure that we're going to have to come back to this ship later on. Actually, if I was Grant, I'd just be taking this boat and getting away from this island. Ah, well, how convenient. I've actually found it. Well, actually, I'm keen on squadding up in PUBG in the not-too-distant future, grab some other similarly interested people and uh, try to win in a group game. Because at least that way I can be carried to victory. It's definitely not a game that I am capable of doing any carrying in. It might even evoke even stronger memories of the good times of DayZ. I am certainly glad that I played that game, so even though it was obviously a trap from spam to submit that game onto the long playlist. I am 
somehow grateful that he did. Oh, I would be deeply suspicious of, uh, of Spam's desires there. Anytime Spam wants something, you need to stop and ask yourself, is this actually to my benefit in any conceivable way? Unless you can be absolutely sure the answer there is yes, give it a wide berth. Okay, we are finally out of that ship. What did I achieve? Well, I got a card for a door that I don't know about, and I killed a lot of dinosaurs. Oh, oh but it just feels good to see in at least 20 FPS again. Oh, this is the wrong way around. Curses. Okay, I don't suppose anyone has any bright ideas about where we're meant to go with this new key card we have. I don't even remember whose key card it is. Ellie's, right? Was there somewhere that we couldn't progress because we needed Ellie's? Dinosaurs cannot hack. A thesis on modern game park security design. I don't really feel that that's achieved much for me, but perhaps you know better than I. Thanks for the advice about spitters. It would have been more useful if you told me that they spit through doors, though. What's our door for back at the start of the game? Good enough for me. And the resistance against the weeds last time worked out pretty well. Ooh. Got every time for you jumping up here. My fleet was a hell of a bust with Pokemon. Pokemon was something and a half. I never, never considered I would have so much fun with Pokemon as an adult. No, I mean, I'm, I'm doing a pretty good job of purging High Fleet from my own memory. I can only recommend the same for you. Where am I going here? Was this the way? I might just be backtracking on exactly where I came from. I'm not good at orienteering at all. Ah, oh, this looks promising though. Fresh air from out of the boat. Almost back to the start here. Hey, visitor center. Except, do we need to go in here or do we need to proceed northwestward? I feel like I still haven't reasonably checked out the northwest gate. Although I'm also not sure if such a thing was an option for me. Be gone. Oh, well, didn't even need to shoot. Lucky me. The R is not a pickup. There are just some letters scattered about on the ground. I don't know why. I should have gone into the visitor center and got myself a snack. Poor Grant boy here is running a little low in health and he is out of lives. And he's out of lives. <laughs> okay, I think I need to go up around the back of him. 
However, I feel like I'm going to spawn... Oh, I spawn with two lives. Okay, nothing to worry about. Oh, back here. Should have gone into the visitor center, even if just for a visit. Would have had that as my new respawn point. They spell it the name of a person Michael Crichton used to help write the book Jurassic Park. Apparently figure this out some kind of contest when the game was first released. Well, they didn't pass that information on. We picked this game out of the Virgin Megastore's bargain bucket, so no prize for me. I got my big prize win as a kid from some kind of... Oh, crikey. Those guys just keep blindsiding me. Uh, I forget what the comic book was called. I don't think it was a famous one by any stretch of the imagination. But they ran a competition where you could win a lifetime or a year's supply of toffos, which are a disgusting toffee sweet, but it was a sweet, uh, I'd eat anything sweet back then. And I did not win first prize, I instead won the significantly better second prize. How's my pathfinding doing here? Probably pretty poorly. Where I got a giant crate of different flavors of Toffos. And a giant Toffo t-shirt. The Virgin Megastore in downtown Disney? No, no, no. Virgin Megastores were all across the UK. I think they're all dead now, though. I think they've all been dead for 20 years. How many Toffos came in the giant crate, would you guess? Oh. Um... Gee, I don't know. Lots of them. It was like a box of boxes of them. And they were all different flavours. Like fruity ones, licorice ones, toffee ones... Uh, well, the vanilla ones were toffee mint ones. Doesn't matter, I just felt so good having one. Okay, this is all funny, haha. But where in the world am I going here? How do I keep getting lost in this place? Yeah, TBW, which of your household maids was that? I I am definitely just going around in circles here. Where am I meant to be going? I find it comes so easy to some. What can I do but be jealous? You're right, VF Mikey, I am going in circles, but uh, it's not helping me suss it out. Even though I've successfully navigated this place three times, I still keep getting lost in it. You pass a dead dinosaur a few times now, Jake. If you keep dropping by, you should name it G. G suffered. G didn't straight up die. At least I don't think G did. Ah, here we go. I need to move over here a bit more to the side. I don't keep up with the lore of House of the Dead. It was just 1, 2, and 3 for me. There's House of the Dead 4 in the arcade, but I'm not drawn to it. I don't like the oozy stuff. The shotgun stuff was cool. There was a feeling of power brandishing that thing. But the oozy is way too much spray and pray for my liking. Perhaps if I was a more accurate shot, I wouldn't feel that way. But I'm not, so I don't. Alright, the relative safety of the Jurassic Park Visitor Center. There should be a little snack that I can have here as well. Because unlike the outdoors, the indoors respawns their goodies. I 
think. Well, I mean, there's some rockets for one. If it's possible to have too many rockets, I don't want to know it. Ah, there we go. Better medical facility in this place's kitchen than the rest of the park. Full of dinosaurs. Okay, best bet I have for progress is heading northwest. Gotta remember, I am still short several eggs. Four of them, five of them, a number of them. I still need to get around that Triceratops though. It came dumbling down from... Not here, not here... Ah, there's the warning. Yeah, it was there. No, oh, going up and around is not the ticket there. Hmm. Dang it, I've already been here then. Probably already got my egg from here. How long to the long play boat? Hopefully not long. We all live in hope. If you want to make it be shorter, maybe you can help me figure out where I'm meant to go and what I'm meant to do. Ellie's key card needs to be used somewhere. I just don't know where. At least I get this damn good music, though. Yeah, there was that gate. Is this the gate? It is the gate, right. Here we have not been. Finally, untapped territory. And a building. Well, at least we can make this building our spot. Oh, please tell me it's not just the same nuclear building. It's not. It's the Northern Utility Shed. Right. Hopefully, all the keys that we have are used here. And it's not a case of you need more keys that you will find here. This could be the most promising thing we've had in a few hours. Oh no! 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 I ain't come all this way to die. Damn it, too muscular to fit in through here and grab that egg. Just get a stick and poke it. Run. Thanks, nerdy. Sage advice again. Again, the water is deadly. I can't just step it. Whoa, so are you. Three eggs remain, right. We started needing, I believe, 18 of them, so we're making great progress. Oh yeah, if you turn around, you always go a little bit to the, the side before you can turn. Here, I'm just going to press left. He goes right first. Press right, press left, flash right. So I'm a bit edgy about being, well, near the edge of this. Yeah, I know there's a building to explore here, but let's look around the outside first. Who knows what you're gonna find? <laughs> oh, I'm gonna miss this good music as we prowl around the indoors once more. Right. Hopefully this is our one last encounter with the nightmarish indoor sections. When I fired this up, I didn't expect to finish this game. I thought I would just, you know, play it for a little bit, go, hey, ha, look at this uh, awful game from my childhood. I haven't streamed it before because, frankly, why would I look at it? 
And now I'm thinking I might finally be able to finish this game after a lifetime of not. I've never been so far in Jurassic Park. Oh, oh. Right. Well, let's enjoy a new fractal. Show me the spiky tree, please. Actually, show me the pen. And... Check inventory. Ellie. I guess Ellie's the latest one we got. Now, can we communicate with the mainland? No, not from this console, so it must be from that ship console, which I'm not looking forward to going back to. And I already have level 2 clearance, don't I? Yeah. So does this do anything for me? I don't think it does. Chicken. I could go for some chicken. What food do I even have in the house today? We don't have night vision goggles, so we cannot go in there, or else we die in one shot. Ah, there's our solution to the problem. This is a problem for me. I didn't come all this way to find zero progression. Although, maybe I did. Hmm, there's a comms console that doesn't do anything. No, there must be something else here. I must have missed something. You got an extra... That's, that's not progression. An extra life is meaningless. There are no eggs indoors, but well, I actually don't know what I could be expecting here. Mm -hmm. Well, we know there's something else in here. Good. There are other beasties out there wanting to nibble on me. Here, perhaps? I guess I didn't head in this direction, maybe? Aha! Excellent! That's just what I wanted to see it here do. Get out of here. Both of you. Going underground. Hopefully it's just one level down. I would hate to do even more of it. Good. Huge deal. Besides, I'm sure there'll be more. There's always plenty of health in these indoor segments. Let's be in here. Oh well, there's my chicken at least. Gimme, gimme, gimme. Bizarre notion, isn't it? Eat food to recover health. So you didn't take that in Resident Evil. No, in that one you take the herbs. Herbal goodness for your health. Jeez. Somewhere I could have gone to. Uh, Malden? Don't I have Malden's card? 
Oh, this is bad, bad news. There's somewhere else I need to go with Ellie's card to probably get Malden's card to come back here and open that. Um, pretty sure I thought for certain I had Malden's card. I hope not, Darth there. I want to be done. Although it could be done faster if you help me figure out where I can get Muldoon's card. It's probably gated behind Ellie's card, which I now have. But I have no clue. At least it's not a big deal getting back to the visitor center. Since you're on the roof there, I can assume that there's a way up to the roof there? I think Muldoon's card is in the raptor pen. Oh no, I was already, I was already on this uh, roof earlier. Blindsided. I don't know, Rolling Ninja. I'll have to fax the developers. Maybe they can patch the game for us. Right. Get out of here. Gusa TGD is saying Jurassic Park PTSD activate. Well, maybe in your horrible PTSD uh, moments, you can figure out where is Muldoon's card, because I do not know. Somebody indicated that it might be in the raptor's den, but that would uh, require me to remember how to get to the raptor's den. I think it was kind of southeasty. Bit of a guess there, though. visitor center again. I might as well pop in and out to make this the safe point again. Or the respawn point. Northeast near gate 2. Near or behind? Still, northeast is good directions, because otherwise I was going to go southeast. And I'm sure I would have regretted that. Well, that was easy to find. And come to think of it, we haven't been in the raptor's den for a long, long time, so it stands to reason that there's something that I haven't opened here. I've probably got at least three different cards that I didn't have here before. Mm. A lot of options here. On the plus side, there shouldn't be anything deadly. At least until we get to new areas. Yeah, the no signs set the... set the feeling for the game. Alright, let's go through this methodically. The level first. Do not replace... Oh, I hope I have night vision. I do, good. get real dark out in the countryside and I've got such fond memories of going out with a torch from my cousin and the dog. Talking normally, blah blah blah, and then I just turn off the torch and scream. <laughs> oh, I'd love to do that again. I wonder how it would work on an adult. Probably have to watch some scary movies beforehand first. Your 
if you're somehow watching this cousin, I hope that was as positive an experience for you as it was for me. What you really need is an accomplice who'll scream from an unexpected direction when you cut out the Ah Clever, but a lot of setup. This is one of those heat of the moment kind of deals. <laughs> Plus, if you get several, things could get very... Uh, things could blow out of proportion. Some people react differently to being scared. Down here before. Maybe it was the elevator that needed the card key. This looks different though, I don't think we've been here. No, I would have seen a would have seen a raptor by now if we hadn't been here. They wouldn't have all these big empty rooms with no nasties in them. I don't need I don't need the chicken. Oh well. Put over some food or health anyway. I actually really want to see a raptor because it'll tell me I'm in a place I haven't been before. Raptor or a spitter. Just anything other than these same silver doors and uh... Wait, is this... This is where I came in from. Hard to tell. If it only goes up... It doesn't, thank goodness. I'm going down then. This must be new. Raptor Pen sub level 2. Show me the money. And by money, I mean progress. Should have won a bet against someone who made them play this. I don't know how painful this is to watch, but to play it is actually bordering on physically painful. Having to hold down the D-pad to move around in here is a bit, uh, a bit sore. Maybe it's low FPS that makes me hold it down harder, hoping it will work faster, but it does not. I have three eggs left to get out of 18, Shen, and I have a lot of ID cards, hopefully all, well, I suppose all but one of them. This would be a terrible game for two streamers to run as a race, or a terribly entertaining race, says Barcode. Well, whoever is watching this would have an unfair advantage. Also, whoever just makes better guesses would have an unfair advantage. Oh no, I've been here before! I've been here! Oh, crumbs. I'm just right back. Right back here. This isn't good. This isn't good at all. This is just bringing me right back to the visitor center. Okay, I have no clue where to use Ellie's keycard, and it's probably not here. Somebody told me, though, that it was meant to be in the Raptor Center, and I'm pretty sure I turned the whole place inside out. I believe there are multiple endgame objectives, including finding all of the eggs, Baron. 
Wait, was it Baron? Yeah, it is Baron of Astat. The indoor music certainly is great. Well, Jaggy could help out. Where in the world do I use Ellie's keycard? That would be a big help to not listen to this anymore. Jurassic Park game I'm interested in playing is Operation Genesis, and it's probably not even that good. Apparently Ellie's card had, well, I have no idea where I'm meant to go. The uh, Magloon's card, or whoever it was. I need that card. I don't have it, and I don't know where it is. I think all the cards have been, no, not all the cards have been indoors. I think I found one outside. Muldoon's ID is on sub-level 1 of Raptor Pen. Good enough for me. Cheers. So the problem is we went too quickly to sub-level 2. I guess that puzzle crate attracted us here. Well, actually, Dark Young, um, I was all well and ready for a stream, and I was like, oh, wildcard stream, I hadn't planned anything. But it was one of those days where you look at your list of games and you just, you don't you don't feel the desire to be playing any of them. So I was like, well, I'll, I'll, I'll go and make some porridge and hum about. And then when I came back from having my porridge, I don't know, it just overcame me. I felt, you know what, it was fun playing Mega Man, a game from my childhood that I really enjoy before on a wildcard, but... One game that I haven't streamed from my childhood is Jurassic Park. And that led us here. Maybe I should have thought about it a bit more because Jurassic Park's not a particularly good game, but hey, I might finally beat this game and won't have it weighing down on me. I play a lot of games, but I also beat a lot of games. Just about every game from my childhood I have beaten. There are some notable exceptions. I never beat Krusty's Super Fun House because the game is awful. Now, this game is pretty bad, but that game is awful. I never beat Lemmings to the Tribes, and I will probably fix that someday. Tough game, though. It's easy if you just try and save one lemming from each tribe, but that's not the way to play. I'd enjoy another lemming stream, says Death. I'll consider that, but it's not a game that I think I could clear in a single wild card. It's pretty much long play uh, material, lemmings to the tribes. Pretty big game. I would probably see if I could find the PC version, because that's probably a lot more enjoyable to play. Than the Super Nintendo version with its very janky D-pad imitating mouse controls. Could swap that with Amma Yui, I'm fine with that, says Jagger. Mm, tempting, but no. I already said what the vote options will be in the announcement. Would be underhanded to go back on that. Speaking of going back, I'm going back and forth around here. Where is that card? Oh, here's that card. Oh, okay, Muldoon. Now with Muldoon, we can go northwest and open up Muldoon's door. Now what is behind that door? Nobody knows. Maybe, just maybe, there'll be another key card. But I doubt it though, I haven't come across any other doors needing other key cards. So hopefully that's the last key card we need and we're on the home stretch to the end. However... Ooh, an extra life. Don't mind if I do. I am so unbelievably tanked up on rockets. Oh, 
I'd sacrifice that life to quick exit this place though. I'm, I'm actually, when I'm done with this, I'm going to have to step outside and just admire the world in... Uh, uh, what FPS do humans see the world in? More than five, that's for sure, so I'll just admire that. FPS? No way. No way. I certainly don't see in 2000 FPS. Have I used this? I can't think of anything else to open up though, just, well, whenever I come across a place I should check for comms. Mainland comms. Oh, yeah, I'm certain mainland comms needs to be done from the boat. But it was access denied on the boat, and I don't know what would give me access. Maybe I'll find an item like that, like the boat super access card. And then I'll be able to do those communications. Although I don't know if that'll be the end of the game because there are still three eggs that I haven't located, and I wouldn't even know where to look for them. I have scoured this map. Nope, nope, no, nope, that's where I just came from. I need to get out of here. There's no way we only process 30 to 60 because you can tell the difference looking at something in 60 and 120. Maybe Nedry has to be fought before you can contact the mainland, Jake, like a fat mecha Hitler with a can of shaving foam. Are these, like, movie references that are going over my head? What the heck? I've come along. Ah, ah, the side door. Come to me, exit. I need you now more than ever. Please, game, have mercy. Hey Jake, if Amayui keeps popping up in the boat, shouldn't we be getting censoring efforts together so it doesn't take a week post post to get it the Kamidori treatment? Uh, hold that thought, I'm still working on getting out of here. If it's anything like Kamidori, and I suspect it is, the lewd stuff won't appear in the game for quite some time anyway. And I don't want to begin efforts on something that isn't rolled for sure. Okay, now we head northwest to the northern utility shed. Let's go, Grant. It's tempting to shove him into the water. You know, we haven't seen him die to the water yet, have we? And we'll keep it that way. Mm. Hoping to find a respawn lamp. Ah. All right, in we go. Thanks for the input there, Nedry, but I'm going for a swim. Had to be tried. giddy at the thought of maybe finally being done with this game. It's not just the four and a half hours we've been playing at it today, it's the 27 odd years of my life that I've had this game, played it, and not managed to beat it.
Speaking of lewd stuff, what's the channel lore behind William? William is one of the truckers from Euro Truck Simulator uh, years ago before it got quite the overhaul that colorized and added in many more portraits for the truckers. And I just found his face so funny. I just I just see that face and it uh, it gives me the giggles. So I ended up using him as a mascot. He's an upstanding chap who's appeared in lots of channel moments. He was our, well, during the bad ideas guy run in EU4, he, he was everything for the king. He was even, what, like the chamber maiden? Vice counselor? Rear admiral? There's nothing that man couldn't do. Why do people keep binging me about Project Zomboid? The game is in early access. Oh, despite being early access. And I just stop reading right there. That's all I need to know. It's in early access. Ergo, I ain't touching that. And that is very prejudice of me. And I'm okay with that. That's a weird looking red sprite thing on the ground. What could it be? What could it mean? You have found a canister of n nerve gas. That doesn't sound uh, very nice. This whole game took a turn for the dark there. Any indication of what we're meant to do with the nerve gas? I think it might be the final solution to our little raptor problem. It's badly not final enough solution since there are going to be sequels. Yeah, the solution is clear to me though. We need to head over to the... Uh, the place with all the eggs and gas them, you know, instead of taking a club and just smashing them. People who get excited about early access don't understand why people who don't get access, but people who don't, don't understand... Of why, I don't care about that. I don't get excited. Other people get ex as excited as they want. But I do not want. Okay, let's put our collective memory together here. Where was the raptor cave? My heart says west, but I'm currently west and not finding it. this flavor of West. No, this is Triceratops country. And it's still Triceratops country. It was behind gate two. Well, that makes life a little easier for me. I can just go and fiddle with the panels for a bit, open up gate two and head that way. All whilst enjoying this sweet beat. Be gone. Oh, no, I'm the one that's going to be gone at that, right? Too slow on the shot. Ooh. Right, now where was the access panel? I believe it was up the... up the elevator on... either one or two floors above. Are my only options, so go figure. Mm. Oh, 
I did not expect to be at this for as long as I've been at it, but I'm committed now. I've got to beat it. Wait, how much longer is that game on sale for? This could become a problem. Yeah, how much longer is Rift Breaker on sale for? If it's something like 10 minutes, I'll need to haul ass. Oh no, it's down here. I somewhat vaguely remember the end of a corridor. 1 hour 14, gotcha. So we've got a good hour left to run this game. Okay, why did I come here again? Park controls gates. Open up gate 2, and then head east. Yeah, thanks. Ten percent off isn't much of a discount. Yeah, well, still a discount. Ten percent more of a discount than I'd get otherwise. I mean, there's always the option of the five finger discount, but I, uh, I don't have a problem with pirating, but I have a slight problem with pirating something that I stream. That seems a bit too disingenuous, even for me. I think pirating is great, even I'm not even neutral on the matter. The ultimate way of putting power back in the hand of the consumer right there. Where am I going now though? Well obviously not down because I turned that gate off so it must have been over here somewhere. Oh I hope it's not past this rocky thing again. <laughs> been lost there enough times. For some reason, the Kamadori and Amayui developers have no interest in the Western audience. Well, no, actually, I, I can, I can get the game, can't I? I think DL Site should have it for something like seventy dollars. Oh, but they don't sell. They don't sell to our region. I think they go. Oh, you're this region. And, uh, well, I'll look into it. I'll make every effort. Well, every effort that I want to make. There we go. Sweet. This took a lot less time to find them before. Why am I coming here again? Raptor cave. Nerve gas. My memory doesn't usually work very well, but when it's something it wants to remember. No, the playthrough will not be in Japanese. Heavens, no. There's the O. I don't think I've seen the O. I've seen you, though. Get out of here. If I haven't seen that O, maybe there's an egg here that I have not found yet. I don't like this. Feels like there's going to be a, a big chompy guy at the end of the road. It's also got the music of Big Chompy Man. Oh yeah, there we go. He tells me to use the nerve gas to destroy the raptor's cave. Good advice. Yeah, my motion sensor thing is telling me that there's a big guy. I'm gonna have to check though. If it is a big guy, then at least I can confirm he's there. But if there's not, there might be an egg over there. And I need those eggs, probably. Yep. Yep, 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 No, thank you. I wonder if there's any way to actually get through here, or if it's just a straight up do not go there or you die moment. Maybe they can be nerve gassed. Maybe, since there are three of them, and I need three more eggs, they die when I gas their home. Ah, yeah. Yeah! Might be getting somewhere here. Let's go. Is 
This had better be the best ending for any SNES game I've ever seen, the trouble I've been going through for this. No, gas grenade launcher's not good enough. Seven years in the making, finding this uh, ending. <laughs> right back where I started. Okay, let's try again. Wait, maybe not. Maybe this is the other exit, but that's still not good enough. We need to locate those sapphire-looking eggs, or aquamarine-looking eggs. Are aquamarines real? I feel like I only see those in video games. I like amethysts and rubies, personally. I love the rich colours of them. This is Tilly Mint and the Dodo Egg. There's loads of them. Where are they? This is where it's biting me in the rear end that I already cleared out all the raptors because now there's no indicator of where to go. It's just samey looking corridors all day every day here. Oh well there's the exit again. Tell you, this is more of a maze game than Mr. Maze ever could have hoped to be. Well, Mr. Maze ran at uh, higher FPS, so I guess it's it's a tie. Also, there we go. Gas, gas, gas. Vacate immediately. Oh, I don't know if I can do it immediately. Sorry, I didn't drop down my little Hansel and Gretel trail of. Is that the right, right analogy to use? I don't think so. Well, I think I'm going down with the raptors here. Wonder how nerve gas smells. So the walls weren't even loading in there. I'm going so fast. What a way to go. This is probably how I'm going to die. It's very simple. Agent Jake, deploy the nerve agent and then go back the way you came. Ooh. Alright, now that we have committed war crimes... What do we do? <laughs> I love how little indication there is of your actual objective in this game. Are you going to tell me? Grant, shut the power down in the utility shed. There are a bunch of utility sheds. Which one? The north one? The beach one? Use the ship terminal to contact the mainland for help. Well, that I can do. At least I know where it is, somewhat. Oh yeah, the score is pretty high. Using a kind of font that was used a lot in awful SNES games, usually developed by Titus. Ooh, nice damage boost. But I think I'm damage boosting in the wrong direction, yeah. I'm just back at Nerve Gas Cave.
The one you tower, uh, turned the power on in the start of the game? Possibly. Did I do that in the visitor center? Well, at least I, I know my task is to go and contact the mainland from the boat, and that I know where it is. But maybe I should try the power first. Where was the power, though? Oh, no, no. Always use a rocket launcher pizza. The shotgun is much lower power. The tranquilizer darts only tranquilize, so the raptors will get back up. And this thing's just really weak. And again, only stuns, doesn't kill. Okay, where was the power? I don't even remember if it was in the visitor center. No, if it was power, power would have probably been in that nuclear power place to the south. Probably. That's what I'll believe. I'll just get my health and get out of here. So I'll go and turn off the power there, and then I'm going to go and deal with the boat thing to contact the mainland for help. And hopefully they don't turn around and go, okay, now we just need you to get the remaining eggs. It said shed. You're in the only thing not called shed. Don't I know it. Grant. Shut down the power in the utility shed. Which utility shed? There are several of them. Alright, oh, if I wanted to go south, I need to activate you. Oh, okay. Right, we're going to activate gate 3 then. Gate 3. Then we're going to go to boat, and then we're going to go to utility place. At least the end is in sight, I hope. God, if I have to get more of those eggs, though. I'm not going to be able to find those. No, I only have 15 of the 18 eggs. This is probably going to represent a problem, because I don't know where the eggs that I don't have are. Whoa, 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 nobody wants gas grenades. Incubator room right and right again, down the corridor. Recover the nerve gas canister. Cover up evidence that we brought the nerve. Okay, that begs the question: Why? Why is there? Why is there nerve gas here to begin with? I know I already got all the clearance I need. We need to control the gates and open up gate three. Wait, are there only two left? Oh, sweet, then we have 16 of them. Although, where are those last two? Let's go. Our last foray through the rocky area, although we have to do it twice. Hopefully our last foray. Let's see, it was over in this direction. It's, it's going surprisingly well, Luke Corn. I think we're on the home stretch. Although I thought that about an hour ago as well. Go to the boat contact the mainland, which we could have done ages ago, but it wasn't allowed. Access did not... Oh, that means we need to find it again. Oh, that's going to be misery incarnate. Also, I have killed that thing so many times. Though I need a drink here. Refresh, let's go. I always, always keep tons of water on me when I'm streaming. 
actually keep tons of water on me at all times when the heart would you again. Every single time that guy gets me. He never doesn't get me. Okay, back onto the ship we go. Now, let's try our best to remember the way around. There are multiple elevators we need to take here. I think it was the first door along here. Which is good, because there are three doors further on. Eyes peeled for an elevator. Well, this is disappointing. Oh, thank goodness, there's the elevator. Americans will literally help a mad Scottish billionaire resurrect dinosaurs, but will not build a sane footpath, sorry, sidewalk layout to walk from the visitor center A to ship B. Americans, are we right? Sorry, right, Americans are only a third of the audience around here. We can rip as much piss as we like. Okay, now I need to somehow find the next elevator. collection of where it is. I think it involved going through a dark area around here though. It's actually not a very fu uh, stable 5 FPS depending on where we are in here. The frame rate changes considerably. The boomer it could well be 10 minutes left provided I A locate this computer again, and I've searched for it I think three times now. Uh, then I turn off the power, which I hope is in the nuclear power utility shed and not any of the other sh utility sheds, like the northern utility shed or the beach utility shed. Ah, great, that's where we need to go. And there's my elevator. And then I hope that I either stumble across the last two eggs, or I don't need them at all. But I probably do need them. And if I do need those eggs, it's going to be horrifically reminiscent of trying to find the last two Skulltulas. Which I remember doing as a child playing Ocarina of Time. I had a, a strategy guide for Ocarina of Time, which had a list of every Skulltula in the game. And I just one by one went through all of them. I guess there's one. There's only one offshoot in an L shaped passageway. Yeah, we're on to it. Here we go. If this says access denied, I'm gonna flip something. <laughs> Woo. Go to helipad. Yes, yes, I will. Where was the helipad? It was on the roof of the visitor center. Okay. But I still need to turn the power off, apparently. Maybe I could just ignore that. What if I just get on the helicopter? I mean, screw this island. I'm not its dad. I'm getting out of here. No, 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 Magic Emperor Matthew. Nobody needs to hear that, least of all me. Thank <laughs> you. 
You know, I'm still mad at Heldon for yesterday telling me press F to take down the roof of your car and it instead suicided me in PUBG. That's what I get for having trust in my fellow Heldon. Yeah, gate 3 I have opened it up. It seemed logical to open that one up so I can go down south and go to the nuclear energy shed, which I assume is where the power is controlled, but assumptions are dangerous. You can run on the bolts, though. Not for very long, but you certainly can run on the bolts in Mario 3. Yeah, I'm kind of sad that there's nobody currently running the Mario Marathon anymore. It was such a great pastime for me. There'd always be somebody running Mario. I could have it on the other monitor, and it's just it's just constant laughter. You just look over there, they do terribly, and you go, <laughs> uh, But nobody's taking up the mantle anymore. I don't understand it. Tyrion has still to do his, but Tyrion's kind of disappeared off the face of the map. I think uh, the only way to bring him back is if I fire up some Dominions 5. Maybe like a moth to the flame. Where the heck am I? Oh yeah, I needed to go in here for the elevator. Yeah, Nedry told me to turn off the power. Oh wait, no, no, no. This, is, this isn't right. This isn't right at all. I'm already on sub-level 2. I need to be getting up and out of here, not further down. Promise some Dom 5 if he finishes the race, that'll be I, I'm done with Dom 5. I played so much of it. It's a fantastic game. I'm so happy that I gave it the chance that it deserved. Well, honestly, it didn't deserve it. If that game maybe put a bit of effort into being accessible, then it would deserve it. But still, it's an excellent game. But I'm done with that. I played it for hundreds of hours. I've played all the races that uh, appear interesting to me. Enough is enough. I am running out of time, I'm I think I have 52 minutes left. And we need to take 10 minutes off of that realistically. So I got 40 minutes left to beat the game. I think this is it. This is the way that I came in. So it'll be the way that I get out. Here we go. Right, let's pray to the heavens that that's the last time we ever have to deal with the ship. What about Children of the Nile? You would have thought that being carried by peasants would be right. Well, I'm going to return to Children of the Nile. I'm just not racing back to it right now. There are many games. Like Jurassic Park for the Super Nintendo, developed by Ocean. I've just used that. Actually, maybe I could have, and I do not want to investigate that possibility. That would sting. Sting quite a lot. 1993 for this game. Wait, I ate that food on the way through, which means I'm backtracking here. And done. No more ship. Thank goodness. Right, let's go and turn off the power in the nuclear shed. Was this music playing last time I was here? Also, have I actually been south at this point? Yeah, I have. There's this split that's not letting the water through anymore, or never did. A helicopter's coming. Get to the helipad. Oh, great. Great, great, there are no other tasks. They've ignored me having to turn off the power, and they're they're not telling me to collect all the eggs. Sweet. And if it's uh if it's bad end city, then great. No more Jurassic Park films for anybody. 
will change the past to change the future. Oh man, one last jump out from you to catch me. again. Poorly, to be sure, but where do we go? That's right, I came up from you, so I want to go down past you. To this sweet Donkey Kong Country style music. Excuse me. So excited I'm getting the sneezes here. Although I don't know how much of that comes through on RTX voice. Probably too much. Now, I think the helipad is on top of the guest. Place. I think so. I mean, that's where I'd put a helipad. We got an ah, then a pause, followed by ew. Hopefully there's some refinement to be had on RTX voice software. I've been told I got weak girly sneezes before. Don't bother me. I'm not the one that has to listen to it. Sneezing's kind of fun. I think I once told somebody I was kind of jealous of all their hay fever because it looked like fun, but uh, they don't like hearing that. Is this not the helipad? Reflecting on it, there doesn't appear to be a helipad here. There was the letter H, but I don't think that's what we're looking for. Oh, I'm not looking for you either, how'd you get? No, Boogerman was gross. Okay, well, not as close to the end as I thought. This is not the helipad. I do not remember where there's a helipad. There is the letter H, but it's very small. I don't think they can see that from a helicopter. Where's the helipad? I'm gonna guess it's down south then. That's like my least explored area. <laughs> For the teeny tiny helicopter. Look, as long as it flies, I'm getting in or on. Funny, they've stopped telling me that I need to act, uh, deactivate the power. Mr. Grant. Can't believe this voice acting in a SNES game that's so rare. Oh, now we're rare. Okay, let's leave Jurassic Park, locate that heli chopper, and get out of here. But where is the helipad? Maybe it's on top of the power station y thing. I'm taking no prisoners around here, using the big guns if I must. Is there a helipad on top of this building? I better enter and exit just to respawn here if I die. Oh, 
missing like a helipad. And... No, no, this looks like a helipad actually. Jeez, where, oh where was there a helipad? Was there one atop all these rocks? No, it was nothing but a big high place with an egg on it. What an awful, oh crap. What an awful park this is. There's some water. Oh, oh, no, I can't get across that. But there was something that I could. Hang on, hang on. Wasn't there a bridge that I couldn't make go across over here? No, no, forget that. There's no way across. It. Unless it's a jump that I can make. <sighs> wow. No, no, Ian Malcolm. We don't need those eggs. Maybe they're both over here since I haven't been over here yet. It's all coming together now. I've got the hopes. Where's the egg? Here's the egg. One more egg to go. <laughs> I thought you'd already run down. How could you do this to me? One last egg. Mr. Grant. Ooh. It's probably Professor Grant to you. Ooh. Damn. There's a life here, but no egg. There is an R, though. This isn't something you pick up, just a message in the game, so we're told. <laughs> the last egg involves giving Nedry a cavity search. <laughs> okay. One last egg. Where is it? Where is it? Nothing really happens on Game Over Jagger, you just respawn with three lives. Yeah, I got the egg on top of the ship. think of anywhere that I haven't searched on this whole map. Did you fully explore along the water next to the Northern Utility Shed? The Northern Utility Shed is one of my least explored areas, so that sounds reasonable. Didn't I need to have uh, the level 3 gate open for that? I'm just doing a quick search of the south before I end up heading north. I'm certain I've been up this rocky thing before. It might be worth another check. TBW says the T-Rex can keep its eggs. <laughs> keep its filthy secret salts at it. Yeah, I got the egg from here before. The area in the southwest for the T-Rex is the game has two. I don't remember which ones I've picked up. North Shed seems like a safe bet since it's the least explored area. 
The saving grace is that every single egg has been on the outside. I know there's only 40 minutes left. Pan chocolatine. So that puts the pressure on to find this one last blooming egg. Just kind of combing over the place for now. That health kit doesn't mean anything. these eggs actually. Just doing one clean sweep looking for those eggs. Open gate one to access northern shed. Uh, northern shed after sweep. Yeah, I know it's. I know it's opening up gate one for it. here. I am certain I've been and seen everything there is to be and see here. Oh, did I just hear it close? Rotter. It's not going to open up for me right now. But it's easy to open up. Get it opened up in about a minute or two. Then we go across in three or four minutes. And then we hope to high heaven that there is an egg over there. And then we go and open up path three so we can go back down south onto the helipad. Where we'll probably go and be told that, oh, Tim Murphy left his jam sandwich in the fridge in the bottom of the boat. Could you go and get that, please? He's really hungry. I don't have many more instances of 10 minutes to offer up, Anno. We'll do what I can. Oh, you like this one, Bane? I mean, you've got some cookie tastes, after all. Cookies, ah, uh, I could do with baking some nice cookies. It's been a while. Now that that's on my mind, in the off chance that somebody in the chat happens to have some kind of cookie recipe they swear by, hit me up with it. I mean, I've got one that I quite like, but I prefer to try new things and just retread the old ones over and over. Mark controls, gate operation, open up gate one. Do you prefer gooey or crumbly? Yes. They should snap on the outside and drip on the inside. Maybe drip isn't the right word, but they shouldn't, uh, if you hold them just by the edge, they should not maintain their shape. My favourite recipe is buying some cookie dough at the store and- oh no 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 stankmut. 
Sure, that's quick and easy, but devoid. Devoid of flavor, enjoyment, satisfaction. Recht, let's go. There's not much time. I've got a vote to do. I found one online. I, I mean, I'm not interested in what is online, I'm interested in what you have. Although, if you use it and it's a recipe you found online, that's fine. My grandmother's chocolate chip. My great grandmother! I wonder if it has stuff that can even be found in Sweden. Sweden would be an iffy place to find uh, things for a recipe. Run! Get to the helipad, but I want an omelette, so make sure you get all those blessed eggs. Where is the last egg? I already went around the back of this place, I remember doing that. Let's double check the top of it. No, I haven't done the pork belly yet. I need to go and get some pork belly. Oh no, oh no, I checked this place rather thoroughly already. Or did I? There's some N up there. Revenge of the Rolling N. Maybe there's a way to jump across here and I didn't try it. There doesn't seem to be a narrow point in this. I am 90% sure we're going to kill the man if we try and make the jump, and now I'm 100% sure. Hmm. How are we meant to do this? If we even can do this, there's nothing suggesting that we must be able to jump over this, but I do need an egg. Secret pathway in the jungle? Oof. We have been through two secret pathways in a jungle, which did net us one egg and one secret letter. Check left in the alcove. the raptor pen is. Well, that raises more questions than answers. Ah, that is not a jump old granty boy can make.
no, I am running out of time for this. I am really running out of time for this. <laughs> I can't ford the river. I'm gonna lose the wagon. Whoa, now that that was that was not particularly fair. I think you're missing one of the three at the northeast. Makes you think that. I think I picked up all the ones in the northeast, and I just scoured the northeast. Right, yeah, I was just in the northwest, not the northeast. Damn, normally I'm good at my easts and wests. Right, let's touch base here, maybe grab some food while we're at it. Although it would be faster just to kill ourselves, I think Mr. Grant deserves slightly better. Slightly. I hope my route doesn't require me to open up the other gate again. Yeah, I need gate two to go up that way. Well, let's do it. We'll be absolutely sure we have scoured the northeast from top to bottom. If we find the egg, great. If we don't find the egg, at least we know not to waste our time over there anymore. Speaking of wasting the time, this is not the way to the elevator. Got my coat snagged on the table and chairs. Here we go. Astiger41 saying, what have I missed? Uh, 5 hours and 29 minutes of a particularly bad game, but a nostalgia-filled bad game. I'm not sure why they put two first aid kits that respawn next to each other there. They fully heal you. Mark control. Gate operation. Gate two. Let's go. Why? No, I don't even want to know why I'm hearing, uh... That was actually kind of scary. Why would we have heard a raptor there? I have no idea if this game is good, I just have a lot of fond childhood memories, says, but it's not good. <laughs> it isn't good. <laughs> but I'm going to be very happy to have the game behind me. Provided I can get it behind me, I need to find this egg. And I hope they don't turn around and say, Oh, you need to turn off the power while you're at it. Why would I be turning off the power in a place I'm leaving behind? Right, northeast scour begins now. I want to locate the water and try everything near it. Here's the water. This feels unfamiliar already. That's a good sign. A very good sign. Yeah, I definitely haven't seen that before. Eyes peeled for an egg, folks. Oh, well. That wasn't good. They <laughs> don't want the electric bills. <laughs> Thanks for saving our park, but uh, come on, mind the bills. Huh? <sighs> I don't know if I climbed this mountain. I climbed a mountain. Hell, I climbed two. So I think it's a reasonable shot that this one has the egg. Uh, it's not there. Oh, thank heavens, there's the egg. All right, we are getting out of here. 
Ian Malcolm can finally have his 18 egg omelette. Now, to be fair, if I had a guy wrapped around my middle finger and I could have him do whatever I wanted, preparing me a hell of an omelette would be pretty tempting. It would have to be good, though. There are bad omelettes out there. And yes, I need to open gate three in order to make our way out of here. But we'll get this done in time. Wait, couldn't I just kill myself? Oh, yeah. Let's just get this one submitted on the speedrun leaderboards. I swear this ending had better be so damn good. All the effort it took to get this far. Yeah, imagine that. Failing a long play, a wild card, and a weekly one shot inside one week. Be rough. But that's alright, I can take these kinds of risks. No, no scary. Oh, there was scary noises there. Oh god, why is it? Why did it go dark? Oh, he just wants to use this again. I did not turn off the power. Hopefully that's not a problem. Why did it make those scary noises, though? Thankfully, turning off the power should be easy to do, because the power room is next to the helipad, but I want to believe that we can just leave the engine running and be okay. turn off the lights or something. Okay, let's go. If I don't need that power on, we can be done in just a few minutes. Not even ten of them. We'll become the power. Any other nonsense. We're getting out of here. I should have tried to make that jump long ago. Alright, Heli Chopper. Let's get out of here. Congratulations, you have escaped Jurassic. Yeah, thanks for the congratulating. Good job, J.H. Beard. Beard? Okay. Um, well, this is, this is nice and all. Okay, okay, can we, can we speed through this a bit? Ah, I can put in my name! Sweet. Oh, and we've got five, five things for it. I guess we'll just put in Jake. Yeah, challenge all your friends to this. This single player game. <laughs> that was pathetic. God, the payoff for that was was uh, was grimbo, but the game is finally behind me. I've done it. I have beaten Jurassic Park. Never again.